Oh no! So, Demonetized. So, so, <laughs> David's spot on. So no, no. Wait a minute, guys. The Red Skull wears a onesie. Yes, he, he is a man yeah, he in a mask like, and a like onesie. A wears, this is the Red Skull. The Red Skull wears pajamas. What the yeah, hell? Is this is this? his outfit with a big with a big swastika. <laughs> so is... I got a onesie with a swastika. <laughs> this that's, is his. That's... Captain America has his uniform, uh-huh. right? With the wings. No, no, you'll and the notice. Shield. You'll notice Captain America's and Red Skull looks like this. Muscles, muscles bulging. This is a dumpy onesie <laughs> with a swastika. Yeah, it's really buggy. Like... And it's turd brown. <laughs> Yes, it is shit brown. It's like, there are many fashion points here where this guy went wrong. He yeah. made many bad choices. Yeah, I can see why Hitler failed as an artist. And if his giant swastika. If, you know, he can't even outfit his adopted oh, son. Oh, my God. You know, that's, in proper attire. That's hilarious. It's not even just in this comic. There are some other comics where the Red Skull kind of just shows up in like a jumper with like a big ass <laughs> swastika on it and it's like one color. Okay, see now, now I'm thinking back to our original conversation where I'm like getting all upset about the mask. Yeah. I, didn't know, I didn't know this was coming. No, he's got like a uniform okay. kind of, like the color isn't really <laughs> consistent, but like just a one piece color suit with like a big white swastika <laughs> on it is like his, his thing. Okay. For quite a while. All right, sure, sure, why not? Why not? <laughs> Why the hell not? We've spent a while on this panel with no words. Well, because because a great look panel. at him! Look at him! This might be my favorite panel of all the comics. I know. The best art David, whole, you sent me the, the, the clip you wanted me to use for oh the thumbnail, God. but unfortunately, it <laughs> might have to be replaced. Yeah. yeah this is oh way better. God. I don't know if Gangway is going to make it. That's hilarious. I love how the end of his sleeve is uh, parallel with the window. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. This weird window he's yeah, crawling and his, through. And his like the hands are pointy, and it's he's just coming out of the bizarre. void. He's giving yeah. us a thumbs up. He, just, yeah. he also just doesn't have a right hand, and yeah, he yeah. is giving us no, a thumbs up. No, no, it doesn't have it. Well, his sleeve is so long it covers it. I'm not sure if he has another leg. I just really his body is. Maybe that's why he's wearing the baggy look at, clothes. Look at how two dimensional the general's left fingers are. Oh yeah, yeah, they're flat. Jesus. Uh, honestly. Are we ready for the next panel? <laughs> I, think so. I, I don't think we are. I think we've deconstructed this. I think we're good. We can move on. All right. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. He's an alien. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh, that's terrible. The major's that's... eyes are so spread apart. <laughs> Oh my god. There's so much wonderful here. I love it. Oh my god. This is really good. So when does he get the circle shield? Like he's got the, the triangle shield here. Yeah, the circle shield comes later. Well, I assumed so. <laughs> Since he it later does exist. on have a circle shield. I, well, I was just reassuring you that it wasn't like a Mandela effect okay. thing where you transfer it into a different universe. The circle <laughs> shield is real. Yeah, because I'm like, I know I've seen him with the circle shield. So it just, obviously not until he gets... His face is weird. His face it's is always, always weird. weird. Yeah. It's yeah. weird. I mean, the other guy isn't exactly normal either. That and his boots are just stupid. Like, can we just point out the stupid boots? Yeah. I wonder where, where does the stereotypical uh, superhero costume come from? It's always, you know, the tight rubber type material yeah, and, you got your and those like oversized on. boots and gloves yeah. Yeah. yeah and the fucking panties out on the outside of yeah. the costume yeah, you <laughs> like, is, it ba- is it based on any real clothes that ever existed ever it's supposed to be like just a second skin yeah it's supposed to be really like trim because they're like i think it's supposed to be like gymnast clothes yeah because mm. a lot of times in early comics, they compare superheroes to gymnasts. So they, I think they okay. are live yeah. and dance around. So I think we're supposed to be thinking along those lines. Although Captain and America the boots is are just to... like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Captain America also has chainmail shirt under his little skin tight thing too. Oh, does he now? That's why it looks scaled. Oh, I see. He's just got a regular shield at this point. He doesn't have anything made out of titanium has, or whatever yeah. the no, vibranium. I'm sorry. Yeah, vibranium, vibranium isn't even introduced. <laughs> okay. 
That's not even introduced as what his shield is made of until like the 90s or the okay. 80s. We're switching up the Captain America and Bucky's. Yeah, so uh, you're Bucky. Oh, my fault. David I'm is Bucky. Captain America. Well, yeah, so... Zach, now it's my turn. Repair now, your anus. Now that you've had uh, the rest, you're going to have the best. <laughs> the best. Okay, that's Rathcomb there. The weird, like, vampire guy. Skullhead kind of guy? Uh, well, the no. skullhead is just death as a personified oh, concept. Oh, you're, the the... you're the werewolf vampire over there. Yeah, that's okay. the actual. Oh, so that's that's the character that uh, Thanos falls in love with. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. Weird horror struck at army officers whose wooden images were jumped on the Nazi chessboard, but Captain America made an unexpected move. That's not chess, that's checkers, where you jump pieces. Yeah. Oops. In a secluded section of town, a weird figure approaches a chessboard. So, Herr Admiral Perkins is giving a lecture tonight, eh? <laughs> what an ideal night for a chess game. Once again, I don't know why we have, like, this chessboard set. Like, their plan is just to kill people like do sabotage and kill people you don't need the omar and sando prediction thing you don't need a chess board you can just do it you yeah, know but what the i chess mean part is a cool motif <laughs> or whatever it's like yeah these plans are like overly complicated you're an important man my dear admiral too important for my cause too bad you must depart from your friends so abruptly even though you are a capable man, Admiral Perkins, I am your superior. You will never lecture tonight, for I am removing you from the game. Admiral Perkins will die tonight. Now that is a bony hand. <laughs> that is one bony ass mm -hmm. hand. Mm -hmm. Now, if this guy takes his mask off and, and it's a hot face, woman, and it's yeah. a hot woman, I will be surprised. In an adjoining room. Hard-faced foreign agents listen intently to a shortwave set. Admiral Perkins will die tonight. These jobs for you, number 15 and 3. Yeah, ja, Herr Kamalan, but we never see Rathcon's face. Schweinhund! Fool! Of course you never see him. But the time will come when all America will bow down before him. Before the Führer of the new regime. Or the Fuhrer. <laughs> the Fuhrer. Fuhrer. So David's Captain America and I'm Bucky. Yep, you are Bucky and David's Captain Oh fuck, Captain, right? that's gonna fuck me up now. <laughs> I need to get out a little boy mode. Get into man mode. You have to be a handsome man. By the way, look at Captain America here with Bucky, just kinda yes, putting nice. his arm around his shoulder. Guiding you him do. gently. Him, yeah. Gee, I never liked these old meetings anyway. Now, Bucky. That's no way to talk to Admiral... Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's no Christ. way to talk to Admiral Perkins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, Bucky, that's no way to talk. Admiral Perkins is one of the country's leading men. We can learn something from him. What? Something. Know, something cool. <laughs> Look at the mysterious shadow silhouette in the audience, yeah. by the way. Yeah. This is also when you could just smoke a pipe at whatever show yeah, you went to. Sure. Yeah. Smoking everywhere. The days. Time for the lecture. And military figures flock to the important session. I don't think the comic book people really know how the military no, works. Don't. It's just like, oh, like some private goes to some admiral's meeting. Well, he's given a lecture. But I want to go out and chase crooks and... Shh, H. The admiral's coming on now. The curtain parts and... The admiral's acting mighty strange. Looks like something terrible has happened. You know him He's always hanging himself out up like a <laughs> scarecrow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mighty strange. Wow, he His is old antics. Strange. Holy <laughs> fuck. We got that's, a, that's we, pretty, we got a that's weird, pretty metal uh, right there. <laughs> we, this is fucking badass. Look at this uh, panel. Yeah. Yeah. Like, look at the little extra wow. we get to. Like, this comic I, again, is popping off. Yeah. I feel like yeah. you wouldn't even have this in the modern movies, like. Yeah, no, definitely, like, in terms of violence, I think, like, Dark Age is probably the top. And then you've got, like, Golden Age, and then, like, Bronze Age and Modern Age are probably kind of tied up. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the Silver Dark Age? Age is the bottom. Dark Age is, like, the 90s. Oh, there they was, got there all was, of, uh, In the 80s and edgy. 90s, yeah, there was, like, a lot of violence in comics. Uh, I remember there was a joke about that in Fairly Odd Parents. It's an episode where the the main character goes into the comic world and he meets all the different versions from him 
from the different time periods and the 90s one keeps saying how he got cancelled because he cursed and stuff yeah he he's dead he is acting mighty strange <laughs> In another moment, the lecture hall is thrown into a seething turmoil of angry, fighting men. Someone get that dirty killer! Oh fuck, do I really have to say this? Yeah, you're the lyncher. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Lynch him! Lynch him! <laughs> mm -hmm. Fucking hell. Another great the, shot of Captain America and Bucky here. It was just a here. dead guy. Yeah. There was... Uh, yeah. Where, who was killer? I, did we just pick out a guy and yeah, go, well, that's him? Find a minority and lynch him. Oh, my God. Yeah, Jesus. Come on, Bucky. That killer certainly isn't going to wait around here. Thank you for taking my hand, Captain mm -hmm. America. Well, it's Don't mention it. <laughs> we, we're we still holding hands. Of course. <laughs> Obviously. There. Oh, my. I gotta get in my little voice again, mm -hmm. all right? Golly yeah. gee willikers, there he is! <laughs> <laughs> Golly gee willikers, there he is! He's getting away! Since this is America's problem, let's see what Captain America can do. In a lightning change, Private Rogers becomes the thrilling nemesis of spies and crooks. Captain America! All set, Sonny boy. Let's go. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Could you say that any more sarcastically? I mean, how well would you deliver it? <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't know wow. if he's wearing pants. <laughs> no, we don't. If we don't know if he's fully dressed yet, no. Yeah. Oh my God! It's getting worse. <laughs> Think you can handle a man's job? Bucky, my lad. Sure I can. What do you think I am, a baby? Now let's get these pants off. <laughs> <laughs> Bucky, my lad. Then after him. You stick around. I'm going aloft. What? He's going go, aloft. He's gonna go aloft. No, what does this whole sentence fucking mean? I <laughs> yeah, feel like I'm speaking weird. a foreign language right now. <laughs> it is then like after him... Uh, so then after him sounds like let's go both yeah. let's then both after. go but then he says you stick around mm -hmm. yeah i'm gonna go aloft he's gonna jump up yes. onto the roof oh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the rest of the comic will explain it i don't know yeah sure nope we're just moving on <laughs> even as bucky prowls through the darkened alleys he is watched by the lurking killer what's this i'm being trailed by a kid that's your Russian accent. Yeah, my, my Russian. Yeah, it's they're, all there. I told it's, it's all it's tonight. all the evil side of Europe. So yeah. who cares? It's all it's all just coming <laughs> True. out. True. I thought I heard a noise. What the? Wow, there's like a knife. Holy cow! Yeah, yeah. Bucky's. You can see by, Captain America's boots, though. By the way, we know the Golden Age comics go hard. Yeah. Bucky's about to get fucking shanked. <laughs> Take that, you young velp! Missed me. Pow! <laughs> what? The head, you yes. fucking little bitch! <laughs> Bam! Look this his, art is awful. It doesn't look like fingers. he hit him at all. Mm -hmm. Look at his other hand, yeah. though. Oh, like, God. his knuckles Ooh. are, like, protruding. They're jagged, yeah. And his face is weird, yeah. Two killings in one night. Oh, I'll be decorated for this. My kingdom for a BB gun! Jesus, we're making Shakespeare references? He's okay. really... He's really like G. Willikers for like, I mean, because mm -hmm. people have died in this comic yeah, already. Like, yeah. you're about to get no, fucking stabbed, fine. kid. Zach, he can do a man's job. <laughs> he's really, he's ready to do a man's job. A powerful figure leaps from the night. Looking for decorations, eh? Here's a medal you'll have a hard time pawning. Oof. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be an impact oof. or if that's him going oof. Oof. I think it, there's a little pointy thing at the bottom. I yeah, think, I think there is. Oof. If you enjoy life at all, you'll start talking fast. Holy shit, Captain America <laughs> just Captain America's threatening gonna to kill, kill fuckers. Yeah. My kind never talks. Well, I guess it's time for me to accidentally throw you into, into an electrical box and fry you. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, no, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna handle just this with my you. bare fucking hands. Yep. Never mind. Now isn't that just too bad? <laughs> <laughs> this calls for a little tightening of the wind pie. Is that meant to be a joke? Because that's just like well, saying what you're it doing. Is, it is a joke in that he finds the fact that he's torturing this guy funny. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> he does find it amusing. It's not really a joke in the traditional sense. 
It's not ha ha funny. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just sort of odd. It's no, no, oh, I'll, I'll talk. That was fast. <laughs> yeah. My kind never talks. Chokes them for like two and seconds. Suddenly, the roar of an automatic splits the still night air. Bang, that was clearly bang. not an automatic, right? Bang, bang. I think he means semi-automatic as opposed to a revolver, if I had to ah, guess. Ah, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, I gotcha. The Nazi agent slumps in death as Captain America wards <laughs> off a deadly hail of bullets. We've already, this is like another death. How many people have died in this comic? Lots like a lot. A lot of people have died. Like, we don't know how many people died in that bridge. <laughs> yeah, the so. bridge yeah, yeah, and, and the Fort Bix. People just die on left and right. right here. Untold hundreds. What are we waiting for? Killed by his own men. There they go, Bucky. Three of them. Let me send you off <laughs> after the armed men. We've got a big, we got like piles of blood here. Yeah, like, no, it's pretty graphic. Blood, yeah, no, we got blood too, coming yeah. out. Yeah, these are mm, mm -hmm. different, different, different time. It was a different time. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It was a different time. <laughs> it was, Like yeah. the comics books code clearly did do something. Yeah. Because like, no, this no, is it, different. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is not the comics oh, yeah. I remember. Uh, superficially, it looks the same. And then you yeah. start like reading, you're like, wow, this is this went dark. much more violent. Too late. We'll never catch him now. <laughs> Even though we are running. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, they're Bounding. Out. The only thing left is to return to camp as Private Rogers and Regiment Mascot Bucky. Let's go, kid. You know, Bucky doesn't have a great secret identity. Because, like, Bucky's Bucky. secret identity is as Bucky. Yeah. Yeah, the name doesn't change yet. So... Well, he's Bucky. He's Mascot Bucky, and then he's Bucky Malad. <laughs> so... <laughs> They never really address that. It's just like, Bucky, Bucky has no identity other than Bucky. I don't know, like, maybe when he became the Winter Soldier, they gave him some kind of a real name. But I've always just known him as Bucky. Does mean. this... Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I have to ask, does this little boy, Bucky, actually become the Winter this Soldier? This is the Winter like Soldier, in the movie? yes. Yeah, Bucky is the Winter cool. Soldier. Now you know why. <laughs> He's so, gonna get, like, abducted by the USSR and trained and becomes yeah. an adult. Yes, that is exactly what happens. This oh, little cool. boy gets abducted by the USSR. By the next time we see him, it's the 90s and he's grimdark. And he hates Steve Rogers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fair enough. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at Rathcone's hideout and the chessboard. One less military genius to block my path to dictatorship. At this rate, I'll even rule the fatherland. Oh, this guy's got eyes on Hitler. Oh, oh my goodness. Did they... I mean, Bucky wasn't in the first Captain America movie, was he? I think so. Uh, so how did no, they... I so. never saw the Winter yeah. Soldier movie. Like, how did they explain the Winter Soldier in the movie? Uh, I think they he were was, friends, weren't they? He was a... Yeah, he, they were, like, both soldiers in the same regiment or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's lame. Were, yeah, they were friends, yeah. Yeah, Bucky's an adult. He's the same age, like... That's it? Like, yeah. Whoa, a bunch of losers. Yeah, they, they were like besties. They didn't even have the balls to make him a young boy. What no. the fuck? No, of course not. Well, yeah. <laughs> hmm, let me see. A nimbly jump of the figure of General Ellsworth. He too must be removed. General Ellsworth will die tonight. He's not even playing chess. No. He just has like a little chess board. He's like, oh, I'll kill him now. Yeah. He it just looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> he's he like, uses his, he's got a little figure of himself and he jumps on over the guy. General Ellsworth will die tonight. Love it. Well, Herr Strangler, or has a number 13, your turn has come to serve the Fatherland. I will give the general a special treatment. See, this one helps you along. <laughs> <laughs> It, it kind of comes and goes, like, how German yeah. are these Germans yeah. supposed to be? I suppose, yeah. Look this guy was real German. <laughs> Look at my mustache, man. He's the Strangler. Also, they're both smoking, of course. It's the mm -hmm. 40s. Oh, yeah. That same night, in a U.S. Army camp. Making a swell evening of it. Huh, Rogers? I think I could do worse. <laughs> Here with I've got, your I've boy. I've got my smokes. I've got my boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a man's life in the army <laughs> and you're gonna do worse you're on special duty at general ellsworth's hut so get moving just and to think captain america wouldn't have saved general ellsworth if it wasn't if it for wasn't this weird for fella this random appointing guy. him there mm -hmm. yeah 
Yeah, they never, in these comics, they always make it seem like Captain America's kind of just operating on his own. Later on, they're kind of like, well, maybe the government is helping him do these things. Really, Here, it's like really indistinct. I have no idea what his relationship with the government is other than FDR created him. It is weird. Yeah, he was created by the government. There's no reason why he should yeah. be just acting alone. Yeah, being he's secret like or Private Rogers is undercover here in the military, but he answers directly to FDR, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Like, the government should just have him always be Captain America, right? You would think, yeah. Yeah. I'm really oh, glad the, mar the modern movies don't bother with that stupid secret identity shot. It's so boring. Yeah. There's only certain people that it really works for. Like, Spider Man, it works for. Superman is fine, I guess. Yeah, Batman, obviously. You need Batman to be secret identity. Yeah. But, like, Tony Stark makes no sense. No. Certainly not Captain America. That's funny. Just because Ellsworth comes down here for inspection, they put a sentry on his front door. Maybe he walks in his sleep. <laughs> or maybe, the like, the rash of deaths <laughs> means that we should put a guard on duty. Yeah, maybe superiors should have guards in the army. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't sound that weird. Looks like the generals had a hard day. Yeah, we'll drop in and tell him we're on duty. The two friends stare in horror at the sight that greets their eyes. S -s -s Steve, l look! And right in our own camp. <laughs> There's gay sex going on. Oh no. Without us. <laughs> Without us. <laughs> oh no. Also, why is Steve pointing his gun at himself? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. General Ellsworth lies slumped on his table, his last agony mirrored in his sightless, staring eyes. Pictured Again, here. Again, rather dark. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, there, yeah. Is, there is another body, and mm -hmm. there is, and yes, he did die in a horrible agony rigor mortis mm -hmm. for it the kids. Yeah, for the kids. Like, Bucky is the thing that makes no sense in this, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, this is clearly kind of aimed at adults, and then there's fucking Bucky, mm -hmm. <laughs> who's just here. Well, no, it was aimed at kids. This is just what you aimed at kids in yeah. the day, clearly. The next day, newspapers announced to America another brutal killing in the ranks of the nation's military command. Mystery killer strikes again. New outrage angers nation. Lynch him. General Ellsworth <laughs> Lynch slain. Him. Murders laid to saboteurs. G-men hard-pressed for action. G-men are hard-pressed. Oh, well done pressed. figuring that out. The time is ripe for invasion. I'll have the American public begging for mercy on its knees before I'm through. Heh. 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 Gas. Tanks. Planes. A thousand weapons to whip them into submission. Heh. 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 An iron hand such as has never been seen before. So this guy has gas tanks and planes and a thousand weapons to but he's just murdering people one by one yeah yeah well none of these plans make sense it's like just blow shit up like you don't need all of this extra stuff on top mm -hmm. of it like your plan is just to kill people because you're spies mm -hmm. just focus in on that yeah. you know what i mean yeah. but first two pieces must be removed from the board presumably captain american bucky yeah and we're going to have to jump over them. We can't just take them off. Yeah. We have to have our piece to jump over them. Obviously. On the other hand, I have a far better plan. I let them witness their own downfall. They shall see themselves removed. Somehow, I am unclear on how this is different from my first plan. Very stupid. I, I will remove yeah. them, but they will witness it. I, I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> Attention, all of you. I want Captain America in the Young Brat Butter headquarters alive. Heh, <laughs> I got it. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it, Air Camelon. We get the boy and Captain America will follow. Yeah? Yeah, Herr Strangler, but none of your special treatment. Raskorn wants them alive. Does he? Yeah, that's what he just said. Yeah, I mean, but like, why? <laughs> I guess so they can witness their own yeah, death. They, yeah, they but, so they can witness. But do they, <laughs> yeah. can you only you witness listening? your own death if you're brought there alive? Yeah. Like, why don't, 
Like, even if you kill them, they will still witness their own deaths. I guess, yeah, Rathcone in particular wants to... So I to want to witness yeah. their deaths. Wait a minute. It's not I, they no, will witness No, he it. wants to w witness them witnessing their own deaths. <laughs> oh. There you go. Mary's got it. Yes. Once again, Mary spoils the plot. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only Captain America can figure this Look out. Look at his fucked figure up. That Look out. at this friend's <laughs> fucked up hand. Like, his middle knuckle his, is indented. His oh my thumb God. is enormous. <laughs> Jesus. Ach, that is too bad. I wanted so much to twist his young neck. Well, he's a pedo, too, All in his right. own way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he also wanted to get a hand on Bucky. Later, back at the camp, Bucky fails to notice a menacing shadow. And he's reading Marvel he's comics. Reading Marvel what he's reading comics. is reading Marvel comics. Look at him. Very funny. Also, like, just in case it's not clear that you are meant to be Bucky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. they're just making it very obvious. Yeah. What the? Quiet. I would like to talk with you. Well, I'm used to strange men just coming into my room. Also, I think, is he dressed as Bucky? Or yeah, is no, he... he's, he's, he's like Bucky in a bathrobe. Yeah, what... He's in his uh, costume. Does Bucky mm -hmm. have a secret identity or not? No, he's Bucky. <laughs> nope. And if I follow your in your directions, you mean I'll actually find the guy who's been doing the killing? Yeah, yeah. Only you go alone, remember. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just do it, you know. I don't see anything hinky about this. Nope. You're the young he... boy, supposed to follow adult orders. Yeah, exactly. And if I find the murderer, I, a young boy, will handle him easily. You saw him oh, yeah. chop that guy. What a dumbass. That night... Bucky quietly approaches a shabby building. I wonder if that big lug was spoofing me. I wonder if I am a fucking moron. <laughs> wow, the door closed on me. Just the wind, I guess. What the fuck? Slam. <laughs> what a moron. I better cook down on the ale. <laughs> In moving pictures, these stairways always lead to something exciting. I think I'll stroll down and see what's what. Good idea, Bucky. In the moving pictures. Those are some stupid moving pictures he's watching. Not realizing that he's walking into a trap, the courageous youth descends to the bottom of the stairs. How does he not realize he's Courageous is one word. Yeah, courageous. I think foolhardy is the better word. <laughs> uh, uh, well, you know. <laughs> They've got a bust of Adolf Hitler. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, they do. They do. That. Yeah. That's lovely. <laughs> It's like a shrine. My, my. A recreation parlor, no less. <laughs> it looks a like a normal recreation a parlor recre to me. I have no idea. The time, He's got his own bust of Hitler in his house. The like times a... before television were really rough. Yeah. You had to entertain Apparently yourself in recreation, recreation parlors. Jesus. An eerie voice breaks the silence. What in blue blazes? A miniature of Captain America and me! Foolish boy. Don't touch that chessboard. Who are you? My associates call me Rathcon. But one day, your country will refer to me as its dictator. Come, my lad. Join me in a pleasant game of chess. Nothing doing, mister. I'm getting out of here. So you found the mur- Like, they, mm -hmm. he wasn't even lying. You literally found the murderer, yeah. and not only is it a helpless, crippled old man, your first thought is to run away. Yeah. Well, he's scary. <laughs> Teaching lessons Stranger to danger. the young lads. What, what really. were you there to do then? Stranger danger. Like, this murderer is actually as least physically threatening as he possibly could be. And yeah. his plan is still to run away immediately. But he's going to jump over his piece on the chessboard. The chessboard with three pieces. There is no yep. defense against that. What is even the purpose of the chessboard? It doesn't even okay. resemble chess. No. I guess this is, I'm getting out of here. Oh no, it isn't. It's just on the run. All right. On the run. On the run. Gotta go oh, fast. Gotta... Oh, <laughs> trip. Look at those legs. Escape is useless, you little fool. Trip me, eh? That will never do. You dare show defiance <laughs> to Rathcon! Bam! <laughs> Holy fuck. Ow! <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. That's it for Bucky. It was a yeah, different Bucky's time, very guys. inconsistent. It was a different he time. Was a, it was a very, very different time. 
He was yeah. able to beat up like a, an actual thug, but he got fucking whacked by this elf fella. Once more, I am the victor. I have conquered <laughs> this young boy. <laughs> How I yearn for the moment when my chessboard is wiped clean of all who stand in my path. So the young boy stood in your path. Of oh, okay. the two that stood in my path on my mm. chessboard, I have gotten rid of the young boy. Yeah. Now, perhaps we'll see if I can do as good as can see adult man. Maybe, maybe not. We shall see. We shall see. Hmm, let's see. I can mm. either kill the boy at once, or wait for his more capable companion. That's it! I'll wait for Captain America, and then fail could to kill both of them! Oh, no, wait, I, I screwed up the line there. And then do a double killing when I totally succeed! <laughs> Oh! Wait, I thought I thought his original plan was he wanted to witness them, witness them, but now he's, he, <laughs> now, now he's, now he's he rethinking wants, it again. He wants Captain America to witness Bucky while he witnesses it, and then he wants to witness Captain America witnessing himself. It's getting more complicated as time goes on. Meanwhile, back in camp, Private Rogers returns to his tent. Bucky. Bucky! As soon are as you he, ready? <laughs> as soon as he gets to his tent, he he's is. like, Bucky, where are you? <laughs> he is tent, so Bucky, I'm home, honey. Bucky yeah, Bucky was staying in his tent, is, all spandex his stuff. Tent. Yep. In his bed? Yep. Well, their bed. What's this? A nose. Sorry to hug all the fun, chum, what? but I am going it's to Bucky. see... It's Bucky. Yeah, but it's not. It's an oh, evil plan oh, okay. that he has. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you guys were paying attention, but Bucky has been knocked the fuck out. Well, I thought maybe well, I Bucky thought he actually did it wrote he this up before I mean, he went. Yeah. Maybe, but like... That's what I thought he... Nah, I thought he wrote fine. it before he but went. But like, he's waiting for, like, Captain America. It's oh. All right, Zach, I'm gonna, I'm gonna challenge your voice acting skills. I want this to be German Bucky. Go. <laughs> all right. Sorry to hog all the fun, chum. But I'm going to the deserted house on Peak Street. I'm bringing home a killer. Bucky. It is me nice. and not Von Graf or whatever the fuck my name is. <laughs> Rathcon. Rathcon. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Peach's letter at the beginning mm -hmm. of uh, right, right, Peach. Right, right, right. Mario 64. Not Bowser. <laughs> right. Deserted house on Peak Street. I should have known that would be a typical killer's hideout. Of course, they always hang out on Peak yeah. Street. Yeah, what the fuck is he talking about? Is that where the minorities live? No, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no more time for routine stuff. From now on, they'll answer to Captain America. Time to kill yeah. someone else. Captain America. America. Later, Captain America makes a call on Peak Street. Knock, knock. What a perfect hangout for foreign agents. Here's where I settle a few accounts for Uncle Sam. That's what I always think when I see a deserted building. <laughs> this is a perfect hangout <laughs> for foreign agents. But another watches the approach of the daring crime fighter. Here comes our Captain America fella. I give him special treatment. Look at Captain America. He's like whistling here. Yeah. yeah. He heard him talk. Oh, I don't know why I this spoke aloud. This is why aloud. you shouldn't have declared your plans aloud. So you shouldn't talk to yourself aloud. No, you don't. Ross Pow. Ugh. I'll tell you a part meet me on... No. Ugh. <laughs> I'll tell you a part meet me mine... Meet mine bear hunts. Very I good. will tear you apart mit mein bar hands. Okay, you're gonna just mine bar hands. Mine, you know? mine yeah, I like it. Mine bar bar hunts. That was the third book that Hitler was yeah. gonna write. <laughs> mine <laughs> bar hands. Yeah. Oof! I'm gonna headbutt Girl. your crotch directly. I am. Yeah. Mouth agape. <laughs> I call this one the sleeper, and Bam. I slap his thigh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, it looks like he's slapping his crotch. Look, look at the angle yeah. here. He that's hit what him he in does the dick. to Bucky. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. And it usually works. Tweet, tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. It's because he's knocked out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's got little canaries about his head. <laughs> We're like juxtaposing weird cartoon imagery with like the pools of blood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
This it's a bit one, out of place. This guy has cartoon birds over his head. The last guy <laughs> had a visible gunshot yep. wound in his forehead. <laughs> yeah. It's a different time, guys. Hands up, Mr. Snooper, and keep them there. And Captain America's giving him, like, a come-hither look. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh intriguing. Notice my little wings. Won't you step in, said the spider to the fly, and be quick about it. This place is jammed with pleasant surprises. What's next on the menu? <laughs> He's just, like, happy. <laughs> He's like, oh, this place is jammed with pleasant surprises. Oh, I love boy. it. Hello, Bucky, you rascal. I thought I'd find you here. Skip it, Cap. Go to work on that bum. Not the first time <laughs> Bucky has said that to it's Captain not the America. First time Captain America's gone to work on some bum. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Skip it, Cap. Go to work on that bum. Oh my god. I hope you enjoy your surprise. This guy's got a gun up Captain America's, <laughs> America's bum. bum. He has, yeah. Unfortunately, our reckless friend is helpless. However, I'll allow him to sit in for a game of chess. It's a favorite pastime of mine, you know. Well, I'll be. So you've used us for chess, man. Ha <laughs> ha, that's great. <laughs> he's smiling. <laughs> yeah, he's loving it. Wow, I'm like a celebrity now. This is a now. great plan. You went to all the trouble to do this? Why? Exactly. And when the board is wiped clean... I launch the mightiest blitzkrieg the world has ever seen. Captain America looks very unimpressed. I think he just created the chessboard, and he's like, oh, well, once I defeat the pieces, then America just loses. <laughs> I don't think he's informed yep. America <laughs> of it, though. No. <laughs> he's just <laughs> like, well, I will officially he's win. Just mad. Once the chess is finished, <laughs> yeah. I he's win. He's gonna kill Captain America. I legally defeated America. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite obvious I have the two of you trapped. And now, to remove you for good. But first, I must jump your piece. I, that has to happen. Yep. Uh, that cannot happen. <laughs> That's how I remove you. I jump your I piece. I jump your and piece, you... and then you will die. Oops. You! Now you've got my dander up. Quick as lightning, Captain America's foot lashes out. But I have you to know... do the pieces with the chest. You're not no, doing... Look... No, you cannot <laughs> do this! Damn it! <laughs> you know, on it the... is your button, American! <laughs> <laughs> On the cover for this story, where it says Captain America makes an unexpected move, I thought to myself, yeah, I bet he just, like, flips the table. I really wish I yeah. said that now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an unexpected move. Like, don't just acquiesce to the evil guy's plan. Yeah, no. just don't play like he, chess. Well, Zach, he obviously <laughs> had him trapped. Every single one of these plans, they always just bring him into a room. It's like, all right, Bucky's now I've got you. Bucky I've... <laughs> is tied up in a chair. Yeah. Captain America is just standing there. Well, that's what happened last time. Like with Omar and Sandro, it's like, all right, I got you tied up. Now I will kill you. You have to die now. And he's like, no. And he's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not playing by the real <laughs> How many just, like, annoyed messages do you think Hitler sent to, like, Churchill where it's like, I have told you, you must surrender now. I have my board, I got the pieces off of it, it means you lose. <laughs> <laughs> they are bringing in the Russian board now. I have to move on. <laughs> if you won't surrender, then I'll just move on without you. All right. I guess that's how we won the war. <laughs> just a gentle tap to silence him. Hurry, Cap. The others are coming. What makes you think they're coming? They have a microphone in the chandelier. The gang listens to it for orders. Why would it be in the chandelier if he's using it to give orders? It seems like that's... None of this makes sense. So all of his weird monologuing has been picked up by yep. the radio? Well, that's... Yeah. That's <laughs> so they saying. heard all the stuff he was yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all fine. Oh, that's weird. Well, I'll be... See... I told you so. I know it doesn't make any sense, Yeah, though. this is a really <laughs> stupid thing to put in your... All right, whatever. Don't feel bad, <laughs> Captain America. It's pretty stupid. And we would have just beaten him up anyway, so... We really didn't even need to introduce this. If I'd known we had an audience, I might have sung a few numbers. Oh! oh. That's the whole reason we did this, so that Captain America could make a stupid joke. So he likes musicals. Well... Rathcon's henchmen surge toward Captain America. Kill the Yankee spine! It's loose. Not a second too soon. Another account settled for Uncle Sam. Wham! Wham. So he swings the chandelier at that. It's not really a chandelier. It's just like a hanging lamp with an absurdly long cord. 
And a microphone. Yeah. And a microphone. Cap, I need help. Quick. Bookie. My lover. No. Let him have it, Fritz. At the far side of the room, Bucky stares death in the face. He does look like he's about to fucking die. He's got... He goes... <laughs> this kid's fucking dead. See ya. We're gonna gangway again. David, let's see if you can do a little better. <laughs> gangway, pal. Ach, dot Yankee is loaded mit dynamite. Drop that pen knife, sock. It's not really a pen knife. It's a bit no, bigger it's than a, a pen it's knife. A butcher knife. Quite big. Phew. <laughs> that sure was close. Boy, look at Cap go to work on those spies. <laughs> All right, Cap. Yeah, okay. Now a, get that bum. <laughs> Bucky was a whole lot more help in the other one. Like, he doesn't do anything in this. Yeah, yeah, he's just like Captain's girlfriend. Like, honestly, Captain America doesn't have a girlfriend in these comics, so, like, the damsel in distress is just Bucky. This needs a finishing touch. Pow! Pow! Sock! Sock. Meanwhile, I've said meanwhile, like, 15,000 times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's these captions, you know. Meanwhile, Rathcone revives and dashes from the room. You forgot one, Cap! I won't take any responsibility myself, though! You'll never get me, Captain America! Just, just, just appreciate the art. You know, look yeah, at that fur yeah, 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 ass. Look at that arse, yeah. You can't get away that easy, Rathcone. Old foyerer. <laughs> if you were, break up my plans, eh? Take that! Vak. What a vak. Because <laughs> it's spelt all weird. Mm, yeah. Ow! Pow! Didn't think that. Fuck. What? Didn't think that love tap? Oh, yeah, okay. The love tap. I love. Yeah, Captain America knows about love taps. Didn't think that love tap would stop me, did you? Hey, Captain, take a look! Now what? How do you like this for sizing up a country? Hmm. Plans and locations. Every military and industrial center in North and South America. <laughs> the Nazis... How much manpower do these guys have? <laughs> the Nazis yeah. are going after South America too. Wow. Is, is South America under the purview of Captain they're America? Gonna I don't invade, think it is. Yeah, are they going to invade? Uh, he did okay. the he did How? the Hearts of Iron Four focus where you get uh, guarantees of independence on all of the uh, South American countries right, if you're whatever. America. I, I feel like they do not have the resources to hold that large of a landmass. Leave everything here while we call the FBI. It's time for us to clear out. Well, it looks like we defeated them easily because they just kept not killing us. So is the yeah. FBI the only, like, there's no there's no CIA yet, right? Uh, no. no, OSS CIA. would get created during yeah. World War II. Okay. Yes, that's right. We've got Rathcon and his entire spy ring. They'll wait. They're fast asleep. The news. <laughs> That's quite a the paper. News. It's like Pravda. This is yeah. the American version. <laughs> the news. Saboteurs smashed in raid. Little is known of a mysterious Captain America who was supposed to have subdued the entire gang with the aid of a boy companion. A boy companion. Of a mysterious Captain America. Their night's work done, the two friends fade into the darkness. They're a little more than friends, from what I've seen. I've got those high eyes again. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Bucky's fucking face. <laughs> yeah. Something's wrong. Put on your dress uniform, Bucky. Major Fields has just invited us to attend another lecture. What? Oh, Bucky. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? Is this the colonel again? Major uh... Fields? That's all I wanted to read to you, Rogers. Just to show you what this man's army needs. Wish I knew who this Captain America is. Oh, this is, I didn't do my, at army headquarters. Yeah, he called him into army headquarters to read him the news, to read mm -hmm. Private Steve Rogers the newspaper about Captain America. Yeah. Personally. Because he's, yep. he doesn't know that Steve Rogers is Captain America. Right, and he's not like telling all the soldiers. No, right? he's, he's called not... you, Steve well, Rogers. He knows I want Steve you to come in. Is the pedophile? All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're finally on to the last one. David gets to be Tuck the Cave Boy. Fatty on Angorake. I am just the captain's and Ryan <laughs> from a woman that has one line. <laughs>
I can't believe I was gonna make I was actually getting ready to make a joke when we got there mm -hmm. that we finally gave you a woman's part and, and you kind of did that with with um the Black Widow yeah. who had like three lines yeah and then but and yes then, you called it absolutely this female character has one line because there but are it, no women but also like it's not like an outlier though it's no. not like no I mean you know. would have had maybe I did pick it because one line is a little off but like the alternative is like three. Yeah. Oh, that's better, you know, yeah. in like a 60-page comic. No, it's not. It, I, it's the comic's fault. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I think there is, like, misogyny in comics, but I don't know if people attribute it in the right place. Because a lot of people think that, like, a lot of female significant others are killed to motivate protagonists. Right. Like, and they think I mean, that... That's one aspect Yes, that kind of, you're like, oh, they're doing that because it's misogynist. I don't think that's the case. I think significant others get murdered to motivate protagonists. I mm -hmm. think the misogyny comes in in that every protagonist is male. Is male. Like, if you're, and heterosexual specifically. Yeah, I would say, I so would who say. So is, who is the significant other of a heterosexual male? I would it say. It will always be a woman, right? There's different levels. Yeah. So you could, on a very surface level, say, oh, they're always killing off the women. But the more pertinent point which i think is what you're getting to is at the base or deeper level they're just silencing women yeah there are no women yeah right and so it's yes it's then it's just the the love interest of the protagonist who is male of course uh gets killed yeah but you know yet another way to silence a woman but i think also like you would still do that like once no, you, you introduce you female absolutely. characters, was, you kill off male significant others. If there was a protagonist others. female, yes, you would kill you would, off their son or their husband. Right, yes, to exactly. motivate them, right. Yes, exactly. So I don't think the act of killing off significant no, others is that itself misogynist. I think it's a secondary, it, but yeah, it's a secondary I think it's, symptom. It's a secondary, yes, exactly. And then it's like, it is a symptom, not the root cause. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the interesting things. Uh, David's gone, so I guess we're just going to talk yeah, about it. I, we'll just, <laughs> I don't know how we'll much just... of this stuff I'm going to keep in, but uh, well, yeah. it's one of the things I've noticed now getting into the 80s reading my comics is they're just now starting to talk about gay people. Hmm. And uh, like some of the things, I kind of had like the immediate reaction where some of the things they're saying are obviously it's from the 80s, so it's not going to be PC. So but then funny. also I kind of had the reaction where I was like, well, they're at least acknowledging that homosexuality exists. Exists, yes. And they're not like... We need to burn the, like, even if you're yeah. making jokes about gay people, like, mm -hmm. the fact that you're making jokes, uh, you're just acknowledging. It's at least a step in the right Yeah, place. you've just acknowledged that it's real. Yeah. And you don't, I don't think, get that when you're just looking at one piece of media. Mm -hmm. The way I'm doing it, reading all the comics up until now, is you realize, oh. Is you can see the progression. In, like, the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s, they're just. They were silenced. Yeah, they're they were just, completely they gone. Exist, much like the women. And obviously. Also. They don't exist. There just are no black right. characters before right. the 1970s. Exactly. I mean, yeah. And so, no, lots. David's back. David is back. Hello. We're having a serious discussion about the science well, we've of been, women. <laughs> we're having a serious discussion about comics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. You know, the most famous uh, female hero from the Marvel movies, I'm pretty sure, would be uh, Black Widow. And yeah, apparently she was a villain at the start. Yeah, That's she interesting started. for me. I wonder, is that like a, is that a, an overall trend where there are more uh, female villains than female heroes in the Silver Age? Um, well, <laughs> there were more female villains. Yeah, there were not, usually when there were female superheroes, they were usually like the last member of like a team. You would have like this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and the girl, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of trope you see yeah. in a lot of media. I mean, it's not just mm -hmm. comics. Um, so they would, those, pretty much all of the original superheroines were part of teams, like Marvel Girl in the X-Men, and Invisible Girl in the, uh, Fantastic Four. Wait, was Storm not in, like, the X-Men from the start? Storm? No, because at this point, at the point that the X-Men started, you could not show black people in comics, so obviously they would not have had an African, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, woman. Yeah, That's an not... African woman would be, <laughs> yeah. like, double bad. Yeah, like I by mean, the time of the, the black and female. Like, Storm nice. was introduced yeah. uh, in the like late 70s. It's when the X Men relaunched with like Wolverine and those guys. Um, yeah, because when the cartoon came out and when like the Hollywood movies came out, she's like always one of the main yes, characters. Yes, though the movies and stuff all focused on the X Men relaunch. The original 60s X Men was not particularly popular, and the comic went into reprints for a long time. 
Um, and then it relaunched with basically a brand new cast, like Storm and Wolverine and um, yeah. Cyclops was around in both versions. He was like the main returning character. So if, we were, you know, if, we were, if we were really doing Marvel movies in order of release, we would have done X-Men well, ages ago. <laughs> I, got, I mean, obviously we start with the MCU, but I was thinking about things yeah. to do after this. And, you know, the X-Men's were uh, an idea I had. I'm yeah, I'm interested to see what that 60s X-Men is now. Oh, man. Do you want to see Professor X struggling with the fact he's sexually attracted to his underage student? Oh, yikes. I How think... underage? I thought he was a university professor. Well, they just call them teenagers, and it's not really clear. It doesn't no, seem she's like... She's 19, Zach. She, yeah. goes, she leaves there to go to college when she graduates. So oh. do you? So unless that's postgraduate studies, you can be you can be eighteen in high school. Yeah, you can be. You can. It's still not it's still not right it's for your possible, teacher to yeah. have sex with you though. Well, he is struggling with it. They didn't. He is that. struggling with it. Yeah, he's conflicted. He's conflicted. It's fine. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I do want to see that actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you do. That's what this show is kind of predicated on. At the end of Thor, we mentioned that Bucky ended up in bed with Captain America and you acknowledged it, but I don't think you really believed it mm -hmm. <laughs> because yeah. you were really surprised until the hand went <laughs> when over you, to when you started reading the young it. boy that sleeps next to him. That was far beyond anything I had I could possibly have imagined because like I like I said earlier, uh I thought you were like forcing it a bit with the Hulk yeah, stuff, yeah, no. but like the Captain America stuff is undeniable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does this recast your feelings about Rick Hulk Jones and, yeah. when you yes. realize that Rick Jones dressed up as Bucky for <laughs> Captain America? <laughs> yeah. And that made the Hulk <laughs> jealous. Okay. Yeah. We're not, forcing it. We're not forcing it. We're not forcing it. We're not. No, you're not forcing anything. Yeah. The, the, I just, I was, I didn't know what I was getting into. Bucky already. makes it all fall into place. No, and I, and yeah. I knew, I knew <laughs> a little bit. I'm you just know, thinking, you know, these are American comics, not Japanese comics. They couldn't possibly be sex sexualizing children, you know? No, no, they can be. They it is one of yeah. the things that. Obviously, the seduction of the innocent guy, it was the 50s, so he phrased it in, like, the most homophobic way he could, where, like, they're trying to turn kids gay. Mm -hmm. I agree with him that these kind of comics probably shouldn't be given to kids, but I, think, I don't think the solution is to make all comics for kids. I think the solution is to manage what your kids are reading and not le let them read Zach, that would take comics. Parental, that would take parental responsibility. And honestly, and apparently yeah. even in the 1940s, parents were not interested do in, not... in regulating what media no. their kids were exposed what, to. What they're interested in is yelling at other people about the media that their kids are consuming. But yeah, anyway, this is a weird cultural artifact from a weird time okay. and i'm gonna edit that down i don't know how much yeah. that makes it through but you know anyway, i don't know if uh, the youtube algo is gonna like those keywords oh no but <laughs> you know but uh, you know i think i think there should be something i mean i think it should at least be mentioned yeah, oh, yeah. that these are these are some issues and I think our yeah. media has probably become a little bit less pro. Well, not just a little bit. I mean, look at this right now. Our media has become less propagandistic. Yeah, definitely. Like, yeah. I think that yeah. mainstream media is not mainstream. Yeah, yeah, ma yeah exactly. Is, yeah, mainstream media used to be more propagandish, but we were at war. So not at this point. This is still a year before uh, Pearl well, Harbor. Well, right, but we're trying to get into war. I mean, there are people, <laughs> well, right? Yeah, yeah, we're trying to go to war. Uh, that would be an interesting take. I mean, it, yeah, I guess whoever was making these comics mm -hmm. was pro U.S. joining World War Two. Yeah, obviously, yeah, obviously, uh, yes. Jack we're, Kirby we're fighting the Nazis. Yes. Jack Kirby, uh, like, volunteered for World War Two when it came up. Mm -hmm. um, I don't Ooh, know about based. Joe Simon in particular, but I mean, I'm presuming. Yeah, I mean, they're right in this. It seems like I mean, they're pretty. It does appear that they're very hawkish. I'm just gonna say. I, I'm glad the Nazis were defeated. I just want to mm -hmm. make it clear. Yeah. Not a fan of the Nazis. I'm just clearly identifying that this piece of media is a work of propaganda. Yeah, no, we're not we're not making a judgment call. Propaganda as to is a going neutral term. I mean, obviously America needed to join World War II. But it is also clear that this was hawkish propaganda to <laughs> get the public ready for America to join. And World it was II. controversial at the time. Like the German American Bund, which was like the uh 
the American wing of mm-hmm. the German state propaganda, basically. Kind of like what Russia today is today. They protested this a bunch. They oh, hated it. I'm sure. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but, I'm oh, sure. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, yes, I have no doubt. Kanye West loves Hitler. I mean, <laughs> you know. Let's... Yeah, this is controversial for Kanye West so, today. Yes, so, yes, he would, well, like, he even, would be even in Neo, teams. Even actual, like, uh, at the time, not Neo. Even Nazism. <laughs> yeah, aside, current, current Nazis. I can see why... World War One and World War Two, uh, German Americans must have been must have felt very awkward about the whole thing. Well, yeah, well as well as Japanese. I mean, we did do internal. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, that's this, one of the yeah. things. Way more, loads of Americans spoke were German speaking, like German identified. There could be way more German speaking Americans right now if the two world wars it's didn't happen. Easy for us to look backwards and say that things uh, were very simple in the past, but that's only yeah. because we weren't down in the nit and gritty. Yeah. All right. All right, should we go? (laughs) So uh, we had a break in between recordings. So if it seems like we (laughs) really took our time easing into this fourth case, it's because we're just starting up recording again on a fresh new day. All right. What's this case four? You're going to have, yes, we're on case four. You're going to have to like get back into character here. Your captions. I know it's a hard. Oh, wow. This is my first time being captions. I know. It's a big responsibility. I I don't want you to feel daunted. You'll be fine. You're I don't also, think I can match that. You're yeah? also Red Skull. Oh, base. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this his first appearance? Yes. Is he even the main villain in these comics? I think he was the main villain in the movies, right? Yeah, I think so in the movies, but I think this is his first appearance in the comic. Because this is the first yeah. comic of Captain America. Yeah, this is so, the original Captain and America. And then he, this is the first appearance of Red Skull, who goes on to be his arch nemesis. Yeah. This cool. is the original Red Skull, because there have been a couple of other Red Skulls. Yeah, because the Red Skull turns <laughs> communist eventually. Well, he doesn't we turn do communist. There is a separate communist oh, okay. Red Skull. Because, this because... A communist Red Skull. This is... Yeah, but this, this is, is the Nazi, because these are the enemies we're fighting now. Yeah. This is the Nazis. And, this is Captain America and comics. And we have to do propaganda against the communists, then the Red Skull is a communist person. Yeah. Yes, this is the original Red Skull. Cool. So I always thought he was the Red Skull because I only knew the communist version. I thought he was the Red Skull because he's a red communist. Yeah. Does he does he get created? I mean, he's obviously some sort of a monster. No, it's just a helmet. It's a helmet that he puts on. <laughs> yeah. It's... Oh, it's just a costume. Are <laughs> yeah, you serious? It, yeah. No, the the Red Skull is just a guy. Also, every <laughs> every so version. I'm thinking it's like Batman villains. He falls into a every, vat no, of goo. Or something. Every version of the Red Skull has just been a guy. He's just a guy in a mask? Yeah, that's why there can be multiple Red Skulls, is because, like, anyone it's can... It's just ju- a mask, so they just... Tr- it's like, oh, I don't want to be the Red Skull anymore. Here, you take the mask. Well, now you- you're the Red Skull? It's like Do- the, is it a handed-down mask? No, is it no. genetic? Is it, is it inherited? No, well, all right, so the main Red Skull, the one that Captain America fights in, like, the modern comics, that guy was personally trained by Adolf Hitler to be evil. Is that this guy? I can't tell you about that. Okay. This is just going to be a fella. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. So Adolf Hitler gave the communist. He hates the communist Red Skull. The communist Red Skull just took his name. Do the Red Skulls fight each other ever? Nah, not really. The the communist Red I was Skull. I'm going to get excited. The communist Red Skull is not around very long. Pots. Yeah, there are multiple Red Skulls. The Red Skull that's around for in modern comics right now that the movies mm-hmm. are based on. Right. That guy. In the comics was personally, he was adopted as an orphan from, I think, World War One, presumably. Well, yeah. And, and he the... actually gets disfigured, right? No, nah, he's just personally trained to be evil, and because he's so evil, he wants to wear a skull head. Fuck off. Wait, Mary, have you seen the movie? <sighs> no, I guess I not. Remember, I do, I have but i've I seen the movie remember. i think yeah i think he does have like a scar or something and... i think he gets disfigured surely I mean, they to do god it it's the not thing. a fucking mask in the hollywood they, movie in the movie they absolutely have well to yeah i think in the, yeah in the movie yeah. they fuck him up but no in the comics i don't remember him ever being disfigured he's just i mean it's weird that he it's wears a skull head all the time it is so pretty that's... weird yeah <laughs> it's you know so is this just a guy in a mask? I feel like this is like a Scooby Doo reveal. Yeah, it's just a man in a mask. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys not know the Red Skull was just a man in a no! mask? No, no. No, I did not know that. God, it's just a man in a mask. I feel so let down. Oh, well, anyway. Well, anyway. <laughs> okay, so uh, I need to try and match Zach's energy for the title. Yeah, Captain America. 
And the riddle of the red skull. Rawr. A car pulls to a halt on Lower Broadway. But Major, are you sure you won't need me anymore tonight? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Poppycock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's start over from the Let's start over. Right. Right. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't take you seriously, Steve. But Major, are you sure you won't need me anymore tonight? Poppycock. Go back to camp, Rogers. I'm in no danger. Just a prank, Rogers. There's no such person as the Red Skull. Good night. But, sir, the card from the Red Skull. Oh, I guess it comes in. A, sorry. It's Japanese, apparently, because we're oh. going right to left All now. Right, so you should go first. All right. Then. But, sir, the card from the Red Skull. Just a prank, Rogers. There's no such person as the Red Skull. Good night. Why is Bucky? I don't know. With him? <laughs> He's always there. He's got a little He's, ministry uniform. He on. is always there. Yeah. It's so weird. Yeah. There he is. Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. Maybe the major. Oh, sorry, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, calm down, David. <laughs> Maybe the major's right. After all, no one has ever seen this Red Skull. I still feel that something's going to happen. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Gee willikers. <laughs> Call you Gee willikers, Captain. While back at Major Cry's home. Now, for something to read. Hmm. Ah, this will do. <laughs> what a weird home he has. Yeah. Look, there's like this void in mm -hmm. his bookcase. Oh, it honestly okay. makes you think, why do they bother and not yeah. just go full on black and white? Yeah, you yeah. know. Oh no! So, Demonetize. So, so, <laughs> David's spot on. So no, no. Wait a minute, guys. The red skull wears a onesie. Yes, he <laughs> is a man yeah, in a like, mask he and a like onesie. A he wears, this is the red skull. The red skull wears pajamas. What the yeah, hell is this? Is this is his outfit with a big with a big swastika. <laughs> so I got a onesie with a swastika. <laughs> this that's, is that's, his. Captain America has his uniform, uh -huh. right? With the wings now, now you'll and the notice, shield. You'll notice Captain America's and Red skin Skull looks tight, like this. Muscles, muscles bulging. This is a dumpy onesie <laughs> with a swastika. Yeah, it's really bucky. Yeah. <laughs> and it's turd brown. <laughs> yes, it is shit brown. <laughs> like, there are many fashion points here where this guy went wrong. He yeah. made many bad choices. Yeah, well, you it's know. It's like, you know, what, what, kind of, <laughs> what kind of uniform should I wear first? I should dress like shit. I Two, can... should be way too big for me. And three, onesie. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why Hitler failed as an artist. And if his giant swastika. <laughs> if, you know, he can't even outfit his adopted oh, son. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, that's, in his proper attire. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, man. It's not even just in this comic. Uh, there are some other comics where the Red Skull kind of just shows up in like a jumper with like a big ass <laughs> swastika on it and it's like one color. Okay, <laughs> see now, now I'm thinking back to our original conversation where I'm like getting all upset about the mask. Yeah. I, didn't know, I didn't know this was coming. No, he's got like a uniform okay. kind of, like the color isn't really <laughs> consistent, but like just a one piece color suit with like a big white swastika <laughs> on it is like his, his thing. Okay. For quite a while. All right. Sure. Sure. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Why the hell not? We've spent a while on this panel with no words. Well, because because a great look panel. at him. Look at him. <laughs> this might be my favorite panel of all the content. I know. Best art David, whole, you sent me the, the, the clip you wanted me to use for oh the thumbnail, God. but unfortunately, it <laughs> might have to be replaced. Yeah. yeah this is oh way my better. God. I don't know if Gangway is going to make hilarious. it. That's hilarious. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Turn brown once <laughs> with the swastika. Oh, <laughs> and he's just smoking a pipe too. Like the rest of the artwork is bad in addition. That's what makes it so special. Oh, yeah, it's so bad. <laughs> like that's what the red oh, skull is what God. draws your eye. But if everything else wasn't also oh, terrible, man. you wouldn't it wouldn't be so wonderful. <laughs> Alright. Okay. We can move on. I love how the end of his sleeve is uh, parallel with the window. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This weird window he's yeah, crawling and his, through. And his, like the hands are pointy and it's he's just, just coming bizarre. out of the void. He's giving yeah. us a thumbs up. He, just, <laughs> yeah. he also just doesn't have a right hand and yeah, he is yeah. giving us no, a thumbs up. No, no, it doesn't have it. Well, his sleeve is so long it covers it. I'm not sure if he has another leg. I just really his body is maybe that's why he's wearing the baggy <laughs> look at, clothes. Look at how two dimensional the general's left finger is. Oh yeah, yeah. They're flat. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> You no, know, either is so his other foot is behind the window, right? Yeah. Yes. Like his so either this this is the first floor, so he's like apparently just he just over steps, from the ground. Yeah. yeah. Or he's balancing on the windowsill with his dick, right? Or now. he's yeah. coming in from like a fire escape, maybe if it's like an apartment. I don't know. Oh yeah, true. I, honestly, are we ready for the next panel? <laughs> I, think so. I, I don't think we are. I think we've deconstructed this. I think we're good. We can move on. All right. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, oh my god. he's an alien! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's hilarious! Oh! Oh man! Oh, that's terrible! The major's that's... eyes are so spread apart. Oh my god! He's, he's so much wonderful here. I love it. Oh my god! This is really good. Also. I think he's got too many fingers. Yeah, yeah. I believe One, so. Two, I believe he's got three, six fingers four, again. Five and then a thumb. Yeah. Yeah, Oops. I think he's got too many fingers and a weird <laughs> head and a bad jumper and a giant swastika and this guy doesn't and a, know. And a turd brown <laughs> and a turd brown jumper with a swastika. Oh my god! <laughs> he's just coming at him. And a bad oh. mask. All right, so so you're Major right. Troy, right? I am. Oh yeah. All right. All right. I well, it. anyway, oh, I'm gonna try. This is your tank. line. All right. Thought I heard a noise. Eh, nerves going back on me again. <laughs> no, no, it's a giant red skull turd jumper swastika wearing man behind you with six fingers. <laughs> Oh man, you he has see. like the Klingon wrinkles on his forehead. Yeah. He's oh yeah. A, I, he, this, oh my god. Yeah. He's like he's got the ridges. Oh my god. <laughs> right. what, what the so hell what? is this shadow over there? It's with, the like, red skull. The little, like... Yeah, his fingers going the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> and that'll happen. Okay. Anyway, he's like he broke his finger like, in order to intimidate this so, guy. So so this baggy jumpered. Red Skull Man is now Slenderman when the, yeah. you know, protects the shadow <laughs> yeah. of Slenderman? What the hell? What is the voice of a turd jumpered swastika wearing man? This is the hardest job <laughs> given me so far, I think. I'm going to I'm gonna have to try a few, okay? Yeah. Now that you know he's wearing a turd color jumper, you're just like, okay, <laughs> Oh, that changes then, everything. Yeah, it absolutely. does. It absolutely You were does. voicing a disfigured man in <laughs> yes. your head up until now. Yes, you some didn't realize. Man. You're like, I didn't no, realize I was jumper. voicing a goon in a mask, <laughs> a onesie with a swastika on. Yeah. You didn't realize that. <laughs> 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 I'll play it up like he's a spy. Like the Nazis sent him to infiltrate America, but oh, yeah, they gave so him. <laughs> he showed up at Ellis Island oh, with the fucking true brown jumper and the Nazi swastika on it. Oh my god. Oh. This is terrible. And they're like, well, I don't think I'll see anything. Oh, wrong. we'll let him. <laughs> we'll just change his name. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. All right. I have a voice. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're gonna get through this one. Good evening, my dear major. What? No. No! In the Golden Age, uh, page layouts are a little bit more complex than uh, they were in the Silver Age, where everything was just like grid based. But oh, here you can oh, see like that. Some wavy lines. Yeah. Yeah, there are no, wavy lines. We had lines. that in, in some of the previous ones as well. Yeah. So this is something they didn't really do very much in like Silver Age comics, but they did it a little bit in the Golden Age, and obviously as comics went on, you can on. also just yeah. choke a fucker out. Yeah, yeah, obviously. you can kill people. Yeah. Yes, we will mention again that yes, you can just up and kill people. I mean, last time there was a bullet through the forehead, right? Now, <laughs> this uh, is like that SpongeBob yeah, meme. Gonna... The terrible face draws nearer, wide, hypnotic eyes gaze deep into the major's. Stare into my eyes, Major. Look until you see death. It's kind of going Yoda. <laughs> Yoda. Yeah, Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> Look at death. Look at death. <laughs> it's like a cuckoo. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> You're joking me. T is the first. There will be others. Yes, many others to look at death. You're really talking out of your crotch here. <laughs> you are, <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. And honestly, your crotch is not in the center of your body. <laughs> well, yeah, my hips are kind of off are center from the core. His hips are. <laughs> he's kind of pushing out his, his bum there. He's yeah. kinda, his bum is kind of... And you know what? If I got a big swastika and I'm proud of it, I'm not covering yeah. it up with my arms. Like, the swastika is definitely bigger. Sure yeah, the swastika changes in yeah. size. He almost looks like he's in a sweatsuit now. He's not. Yeah. He's no longer like in a, a weird yeah, sweatsuit. Yeah, like you know. Yeah. Well, there's little boy Bucky come to see the dead bodies. Yeah. Well, you know, as you do. It's like stand by me. Later, the dead body is discovered, and the police are called in. Yes, officer. Oh, wait. And you left him. Yeah, you're at... Captain America. Yeah, I am Captain oh, America. I but it's but it's Japanese order it's again. Japanese yeah. ordering again. And you left him at the door. Yes, officer. And I had a feeling that something was wrong. I also got a note from the Red Skull. Won't mention that. No. Guess not. Aren't you going to tell about the note from the Red Skull? <laughs> He's like hanging his head on the panel bar. Yeah, mm -hmm. his chin's coming over. <laughs> He's like resting his neck on it. It's funny. You can't tell just what killed him. Not funny. Fantastic. Ugh. Makes me shudder to see his eyes staring into space. As if looking at something unholy. It really isn't a secret. In fact, I don't think... Well, first off, it should look like he strangled him, right? Because right. he was strangling him. Uh, I don't think he was strangling him. I think that it's, it's something else. But also, they, uh, the something else would also leave a mark. Well, so it, it still was the doesn't hypnotic make gaze of the look at death, look yeah. at, and then he, well, and then he had like the he heart had attack because, you know, he was scared to death because he looked at death. Yeah. 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 That's and, not... And he couldn't breathe because he was joking. He had a scary <laughs> mask. That, that's what killed him. <laughs> yeah. That would also put stress on your heart, the no air. <laughs> 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 yep. He's just there. Yeah, he's just hanging out in his onesie. It is a onesie oh, again. His legs are huge. He's got giant thighs and a narrow waist. I, this yeah. man is deformed. While outside the window lurks the weird killer. Yeah, that's a great description. I like that. I think weird in the 40s meant something different than weird means today. It means this. He's yeah. weird. I mean, he, he is, is weird. weird. He All right, is so weird. obviously it means at least partially yeah, the same thing. Because something, something went through. <laughs> the stupid police are baffled. Killing the others will be much easier. So every single, like, this case was called the Riddle of the Red Skull, right? Mm -hmm. Every Nazi yep. plot is just kill people or blow stuff up. It's a riddle. Like, the police aren't baffled. The Red Skull threatened to kill him, identified himself as the Red Skull, killed him. But they don't know that. They do. No. They don't know what killed him. Well, because uh, Captain America didn't tell him about the card from the Red Skull. <laughs> yeah. so but, America like... Knows. Only Captain America can solve the exactly. riddle. <laughs> because he just withholds and, evidence. And, and, uh, yeah. can, I, can I guess what's going to happen here soon? I think like no, Bucky's going to... No, only gonna... Captain America, Mary. How many times? Right, but I think Bucky is going to remind Captain America that there was a card from the Red Skull. And he's going to be like, oh yeah! The oh Red God. Skull! Next time, when the Red happen. Skull sends us a message before he kills someone, directly threatening them... We should stand guard instead mm -hmm. of leaving. Instead of just letting them dismiss us. And then Captain Mercury's going, like, Bucky, you're a genius. <laughs> and he's, and the Red Skull's like, killing the others will be much easier. I just won't announce it first. Yeah, I, That's a good way to yeah. get away with things. That is a good way. <laughs> <laughs> I never announce my crimes before I commit well, them. Well, he's right. The police are stupid. The police are stupid. So I guess the riddle is just that uh, they couldn't figure out how he killed them. Is that it? I guess. But also, much like with Omar and Sando, like, there just is physical evidence yeah. of what he's doing. They're yeah. acting like the there 40s, isn't, but Zach, there is. This is the 40s. There's no physical evidence. What are you talking about? Yeah, there's about? no fingerprints. There's no uh, enhanced <laughs> yeah. that image. What did they expect to find then? Like, oh, the murderer didn't write a note saying, I did it. In well, fact, well, actually, no, way. He did. He did. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He did he do did. that. <laughs> he absolutely did. What are you talking about? I don't know. Well, he didn't explain the means of killing the guy. All right. It kind of seems like anyone could solve the Stupid case. Stupid police. They're bad. Yeah. Come on, Bucky. It's your bedtime. I do feel a little sleepy. 
<laughs> what the fuck? This I, fucking psycho I, kid boy. just seen a dead body. Yeah. He's like, wow, I'm sleepy. Well, this is boring. Oh, well, boy. oh boy. But he knows they're not going They're back. really sneaking off to take off their clothes. Exactly. In order to switch oh, into Captain America and Bucky. Uh, if you didn't add that at the end, I wasn't sure what you meant. Yeah. He's not looking on the run. Okay. All right. I, I don't know why we couldn't just leave. I don't know. Whatever. We had to run away. I, let's, sure. I just read the lines. I don't have to know what they That's mean fine. or what they're <laughs> apropos of. Why is there just a hand coming into frame? A man. <laughs> what, oh, okay. Right? okay. Yeah. Here we are. Putting okay. on our clothes. Now this is Japanese order again. Okay. Just so you right. know. Yeah. All set, kid. Captain America is going skull hunting. You bet I am. Let's go. On second thought, I better handle this alone. Wait here, Bucky. Aw, gee. <laughs> Aw, gee. <laughs> I am legitimately surprised that Captain America is exercising even the slightest amount of good sense here. He puts Bucky in terrible situations. <laughs> He has, yeah. he has threatened Bucky's life before. The, you know what? You almost died the last time I sent you alone after a murderer. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Hmm. This is really random. Uh, it is random. Hmm. Like this time, he's like, actually, no. You stay here. <laughs> well, like, why? What do you mean? I, I mean Bucky's I, gonna have to come save him. It's one of those weird situations where, like, I yeah. agree with what he's doing. I just don't understand well, why he's doing and it. And sometimes Bucky has, like, man is a man and has man strength and yeah. can take down and can take down thugs. And sometimes, other times he's a little boy who gets captured. Yeah. I don't understand. I think they forget that Captain America had the super soldier serum that makes him like a super soldier, and that Bucky is a little boy. Yeah. But sometimes they remember. But sometimes they're like on par with each other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, it is weird. I have noticed that. Yeah. In fact, in the cover to this, uh, Bucky was absolutely slugging yeah. some grown male. You know, there's something weird about like this time period. The way they drew boys. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like the pointy, <laughs> like arse, curvy arse nose. Yeah. I see yeah, that a lot. Little, this is a weird nose. little boy. They are they are somewhat um, feminized. In the yeah, movie. or like the chin. I don't know. There's, I, I feel like I've seen this sort of design yeah. in any like retro style art. It's really weird. Yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird little boy. That is Bucky in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> I can kind of see why Bucky just didn't make it to the MCU. <laughs> You know? Well, he did. He's a Winter Soldier. Yeah, but like Bucky. Did. Yeah, that's no. not. A, that's you know not what I mean? Yeah. They clearly just skipped Bucky. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, he's problematic on many levels. Yeah. Yeah. As is the turd wearing. Red <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least they're acknowledging he's a bad guy, right? You know. Yeah. Well, Bucky's an innocent victim left without me. Eh? Okay. I'll look up. Mr. Red Skull by myself. The police are baffled, but a little boy on his own stands a pretty good chance of finding him. I'll also, before Captain America, probably. I'm a little boy, so I use the, the proper, the Mr. before the Red Skull. Because I don't want to just call him Red Skull, because he's a Mr. He's an adult. Yeah. Respect him, even exactly. if he's in a Nazi jumpsuit. Is his head on backwards? <laughs> I feel like his head it does. Is on it does backwards. look like it's his, his back. His head is on backwards. But he's giving us finger guns, I so know, it tell, if we know but, it's okay. But I think he's, he's just like, lean, he's just leaning backwards. He's really like far. he's like I know my head's on backwards, but hey, we're a okay, guys. Thank hey. you. <laughs> I'm sorry, it really looked like his head was on backwards. It does, he's, he, oh does, he does appear to have twisted his head around like the little kid in yes. The Exorcist. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then he's like, finger guns. I'm just, I think it's the collar of the the shirt and the way his shoulders are, anyway. Oh yeah. my god, this is the most hilarious comic we've read in a while. <laughs> <laughs> that same <laughs> Where is oh this, by God. the way? Look at the psychedelic brickwork. I don't know. Some of them are blue. I think it's, it's the a neon it's a lights. pizza restaurant. Oh, so these are yeah. Italian mobsters. I guess. Oh, yeah, because and they work for the Axis. Like, yeah. yeah, these are. Uh, oh my. Oh God. yeah, and Italy's the Axis. Oh my God, exactly. genius! That same night, the Red Skull and his henchmen enter a doorway in an alley. Keep your eyes open, Sloke. We can't take any chances. Okay, boss. 
<laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> well, how else? How else would it's you an, pronounce it's, this? It's okay, uh, boss. Yeah. okay, boss. Okay, boss. It has to be okay. boss. <laughs> boss. <laughs> I mean, we're in New York, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Even if we were <laughs> And then and then he's like, "Okay, boss, is your head on backwards?" <laughs> yeah, finger guns. <laughs> I, love I don't know what I'm going to use. Uh, I know it's going to be a thumbnail of the Red oh, Skull. Yeah. I just don't know which one. Is it going to be the thumbs up coming through the door? Or is it going to be head on backwards doing the finger guns? He's, he's a red skull Every panel with him has been so good. Outfit with a swastika. It is brilliant. You can tell why of all oh, the of God. all the villains that Captain America faced in his debut comic, you can see why they're like, oh, yeah, this they're one's the arch nemesis. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, this yeah. guy's coming back. Oh god. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's... I don't know, that fortune telling duo, I think they were really strong. Omar actually. and Sando. Oh, yeah, man. that's the one. <laughs> we're gonna move we're on gonna, to the next to panel. We're gonna god, move on, yeah. <clears throat> Of course, you realize the main item in overthrowing a government is money. Yeah! <laughs> is, it, is that supposed to be the United States? Is that a picture of money? <laughs> I don't know. What is that? Is that the government? It looks like a map of countries. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what that is. But they're all on top of one I know, another. They're it's layered. Like I don't America know. is a country, but also like part of the Pacific Ocean is a country. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yikes. It is a map. They have an X. Yeah. Marks a spot. I have no idea map of what. Uh Slovakia and that's Czechia next to it, maybe. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that makes one, sense. That would have been one country at the time though. Yeah, Czechoslovakia. Precisely. And while I attend to military officials, I want you boys to loot the first national bank. Death is the penalty if you fail. This is a trope that comic book writers, especially in like the Golden Age and Silver Age, go back to way too often. I'll let them get away with it here because it's the 1940s. But yeah. I really hate in the 1960s where they're like, all right, cosmic energy has shot across the universe. It hit our planet at random. It gave it this one random guy, unbelievable superhuman powers. And his first thought is always, holy shit. I can knock over the first national. Mm -hmm. And he just goes straight there yeah, well, and just thrusts in. Because, Zach, if you're going to do anything in the world, you got to have some money. you got to have capital. money. So, capital is what runs the world. The most convenient way to get money mm -hmm. is always just go directly to yeah. a bank and just take it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. the police are stupid. <laughs> the police are stupid. <laughs> we have established that. Like, there are so many ways to make a lot of money with superpowers. You don't need to just rob the bank. Do you need money? Although these guys don't have superpowers, which, again, makes it a little better. Do you need money with superpowers? Not really, no. Yeah, you could just take whatever yeah, else you want. Yeah. Like, money just gets you things, but just go take the things. You don't need the medium of exchange. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, there's like, yeah. The Abomination at one point. By the way, the guy's name is The Abomination, and he looks like it. He's an abomination. Is he wearing a turd color? He takes <laughs> over. No, he's just a big monster man. Okay. He takes over like a U.S. missile base. He's like, he holds the world at, for blackmail for like a billion dollars. Or it wasn't even that. It's like a hundred million dollars in diamonds. And I'm just thinking, where the fuck are you going to spend that? Yeah. Like, are you going to go to IHOP gonna... and put down a diamond and be like, bring me all the pancakes and don't you dare call the military to arrest me. No, just go to IHOP, <laughs> like... go in the back and start making pancakes. Nobody can <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like it's just so dumb anyway all right yeah, yes. but anyway we're talking people. about the silver age again here in the golden age no one has superpowers it's just a man in a mask so he does need money yeah. so he does need money and he a is man just... in a mask <laughs> and, and a man a turd cover and a turd colored one you know what idiots have put on masks and robbed banks since time immemorial so this is not yeah. unrealistic all right in any nope. way here we go but the penalty is death if you fail <laughs> yeah that's a little weird yeah Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bucky got do there you remember? Steve. Do you remember when I yeah. said it? Like, ironically, like, and yet somehow, not only will Bucky get there before the police, he got there before Captain America. Yeah, Captain America. How? Yeah. How? How? Steve's How? Like, Steve He's needed, just that good. Steve needed to go whack off first, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know it's stupid, David. Just read the fucking line. You know, yeah. Even as the killer spies... Oh, fuck, wait. Okay, no, hold on. 
<laughs> I was thinking Bucky the killer is spying on them. That's yeah, not no. what this means. <laughs> yeah. Even as the killer spies make their plans, Bucky accidentally discovers their headquarters. He just stumbled upon it. Once. That's the explanation. Bing. Is it because they've got swastikas posted everywhere? Honestly, <laughs> he's like, hey, <laughs> have you seen anyone in a turd colored suit <laughs> with like a big swastika? A, red, a big red mask. He had a like, huge skull, skull mask. He was wearing a skull mask backward. <laughs> like, seriously. Uh, yeah, he's yeah, down he's there. there. <laughs> he's in that building with the giant swastikas painted on it. With all the Italian mobsters. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Steve Rogers still looking around, going, "Where could Steve they be? Rogers is just off God. fucking around? <laughs> He's down. Steve Rogers is down on the docks looking for sailors. I don't know. God above. Now, if I can only get away and warn somebody, this comic should not have Bucky in it, like just at all. Yeah. He just makes everything worse. But then, like oh. Captain America would have lost by now if Bucky wasn't here. <laughs> it's true. I okay. Yeah, in I part of removing Bucky, I'm supplanting all the things Bucky did with Captain America. Like, what if instead of watching Bucky fuck around and just accidentally get there, we watch Captain America investigate? Sounds like, uh, sounds like Captain but America's somebody Mary has to too. be, like, in this, in this comic, Bucky is playing the part of the damsel. Not going to be able to take out a thug, yeah. right? Like he did in some other comics. I mean, we don't know that Bucky's going to be captured. He could get away scot free and apprise no, Captain America. No, uh, how did he? Okay, so he got there, past accidentally. The guard. Accidentally, didn't realize there was a guard down there. Now that he knows there's a guard, this is when he gets captured. We don't know he's going to get captured. He will. <laughs> <sighs> Mary, you keep trying to spoil things. Right. Whew! That was close. There's a guard posted down there. <laughs> I'm going to scream this out. Because I've got exclamation points. It does, mark, it yeah. does have exclamation points. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a stage whisper. <laughs> Why is it not in a thought bubble? Why am I speaking yeah. aloud at all? It's odd. The Were thought bubbles invented back then? Also, what is this perspective on the yes, street? Yes, because remember Major Coy? He was like, I thought I heard oh, he a noise. Thinking, yeah. There yeah. could have been a thought bubble here. What is the three-dimensional space we're looking at here? I don't know. It's not three-dimensional. That's the problem. Yeah. He is sort of looking yeah. over a ledge. But it's some non-Euclidean <laughs> fucking drama. It's yeah, non-Euclidean, all right. Yeah, well... Oh, my God. What? What is that? Is Bucky shitting on him? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I don't know. <laughs> What's going on up there? Looks like it's raining dirt. Hey, it's a little boy. Hey, hey, little boy. Come on down and play with me. I think the mobster pronunciation is doit, doit. for dirt. Seriously? How the hell no. did he get up there? Well, what the fuck? He broke the How? wall? How heavy is Bucky? Oh my... What's that wall made of? Fucking styrofoam? No. How did he get up there in the first place? Because he's a super boy. I have a lot of size to get out. <laughs> yeah. Look at Bucky's ties. That's how he got up here yeah. there. Yeah. Look at the fucking muscles on him. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Well, he likes him. Now. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> the battered roof edge crumbles away. Bucky topples down. Well, I'll be a kid. Oh, I yeah. need a plot device here. I'll stick yeah. this in. It doesn't make any we sense, didn't, but we'll do it. We didn't want to have a reason for how they found the Red Skull, so he just did it accidentally. And we didn't want a reason for why he got captured afterwards, so he just did it well, accidentally. The thing is... He found it accidentally. He gets captured accidentally. Steve still... He hasn't told Steve, Steve where he is. Steve still has to Steve find is, them accidentally Steve as well. is also just going to find him accidentally. So what the fuck was this about? Why Why was this in here? I don't know, man. I, other than to give, give Steve even more motivation other than the Red Skull murdered somebody. Bucky, uh, to... Bucky does not belong in this comic. Oh, my God. Bucky is I don't the know worst why part. He's in here. I, I feel like they just needed filler. And they're like, yeah. let's put in like three panels of Bucky being an idiot. Luckily, Bucky lands on his feet and attempts to escape the gangster. Oh no, you don't! Come back here! By the way, I just want to show you landing on your feet. Yeah, uh, I know. That, uh, How? He oh. Like a cat. Like a cat he, in He is currently air. rotating in that yeah. panel. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Even though the monster was running away before, he now grabs his leg. He has cat yeah. agility, yeah. as does the henchman. 
Right. Oh, oh, okay. So this is this is cool, Bucky again. Yeah. <laughs> cool, yeah. Bucky. Yep, yep. In this air is, quotes. Yep. There we go. All right. You ask for it. No sound effect. Wham. My leg. Ow. Kicked you in the shins. What I did. Yeah. <laughs> See that? Oh. <laughs> Try your funny stuff on me, will you? Pow. See at this point. Bucky is the same size as the henchman. Yes. Like, he has grown to full man size. Yes. <laughs> and he's being knocked into the psychedelic bricks. Oh, yep, captured. There, there we go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Red Skull. <laughs> <laughs> he's just that <laughs> He looks so <laughs> stupid among the normal people. Oh, I know, because, like, he leaves And the, the... normal people look pretty stupid. You get a well. couple of panels yeah. with, without him in it, and you start to... <sighs> And like, get used oh to it, and then no, nope, he's back. No, it looks like like some fucking uh, web, what you call it, creepy pasta thing. Like, this looks <laughs> yeah. like mm -hmm. Someone just tried to insert like a monster into a normal comic book. <laughs> this looks like if we had an AI create a fake comic book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a present for you, boss. Show the lad in, slug. <laughs> Can you please stop referring to me as yeah, Slug yeah. Boss? I feel like I think his name is Slug. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you don't know this boy, Slug. He's the capable young partner of Captain America. What? He can't be. That was good. Yeah, you just instinctively capable. knew you were an additional henchman. <laughs> I knew I was like additional henchman. Was, like, it's like, wait, up. that's a henchman. Yeah. That's a second <laughs> henchman. <laughs> I figured there's a henchman and a second henchman. Can we just admire the swastika in America colors? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, the red, white, and blue swastika. Yeah. Well, presumably his thugs are American Nazis. So they yeah. would have, yeah. you know, an American Nazi flag. Yeah. So Bucky, his identity is public. Mm -hmm. Does no one notice that Bucky, the, Bucky, the, the superhero the... little boy that hangs out with Captain America, is named the exact same thing as Bucky, the, the little boy, the little boy Steve Rogers? who's saying, yeah. Yeah, we can't put that together. No, 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 this is not. Weird. Also, they're like the same little boy. Yeah. I mean, they have the same name. He can't be. <laughs> He's wearing a little domino mask. He can't be. He can't be. Here <laughs> I am. What of it? We better let him go, eh, boss? Why? <laughs> I know. That's why even the Red Skull can't believe his own henchman would say something yeah. so stupid. That's why he has that look <laughs> on his face. Uh, like, what? His henchmen that have no eyes? No, you idiot. It just means yeah. we'll kill him now. Yeah. And Bucky again with the weird little boy face. Yeah, I know. He's yeah. got a weird... Yeah. Because they try and make it a little pudgy. Yeah. Little... You're like, oh, he's, he's really a pudgy. little yeah. boy. Weird. Jesus. <laughs> also weird. <laughs> mm -hmm. But for different reasons. On the contrary, we'll hold him as hostage. Then he shall look through my eye at death. See, that's how he's killing people. See yeah, death, he's and then you die. Yeah, that's not really what it is but we'll get to it so <laughs> once again captain america can't find him no so what he's going to do is now announce to captain america where his secret base is so that he can yeah. come yeah. rescue bucky but right. also he didn't need to kidnap bucky for that he could have just told captain america hey this is where my base is why don't you just come down here and we'll settle it like men mm -hmm. why couldn't no, you just do that out. Yeah, because Captain America was already looking for him. Yeah. Terrible costume. Yeah, Captain yeah. America wanted to find him. Like, if Captain America could have just accidentally found him. Yeah. Yeah. No, Bucky did not need to be in here. I, I wholeheartedly agree. Because Bucky is just really stupid. Yeah, know? Bucky is completely superfluous. Knock, knock. Who's there? Guys, who do you think is there? Captain, Captain America! America. <laughs> already? It's me, you sap! <laughs> sap. Captain America! Get him, boys! No explanation for how Captain no. America found no, him. He just I don't him. think there will be one. He I found seriously him accidentally. doubt. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I think he also accidentally found him, yeah. <laughs> uh, no sound effects no still? Sound effect. okay. Is this the additional That looks pretty henchmen? additional to me. Help! He's a one-man riot squad! He's actually trying to escape onto the next panel. <laughs> So, you disobeyed my order, eh, you little rascal? Yeah, but look at the nice party I crashed. Yeah, I think that's probably right. Okay. Yeah, I think I, it's look -it. Yeah, I think look it's it. a look-it. I felt like we were in the 40s, so I, I, I went with the look-it. 
And Bucky's just out again. Yep, he's good. Yeah, he's just free. Yeah, but look at the nice party I crashed. Uh huh. That's me and Steve, my oh, buddy. Oh boy. He's trading, trading. <laughs> You'll uh... be getting plenty of spankings tonight, lad. Do you know what? I I think I know what's going on. Okay. This comic is told from the perspective of Bucky, so he's just self-inserting himself in here unnecessarily. Uh, you know, but it didn't actually happen that way. So is this like? We get to the end, and it's a panel of Bucky as an old man telling some kids, this <laughs> yeah, exactly, is what I used yeah. to do back in the war. I'll also point out that, like, they did do more comics, like, with Bucky, like, set in World War II, like, post-World War II. And they're a lot clearer that Bucky is kind of useless and that Captain America doesn't really involve him. Because by that point, they've realized, oh, he's basically like a child soldier. And yeah. that's horrifying. Yeah. So maybe he shouldn't be in we war. shouldn't be endangering children. <laughs> But like here, yeah, it just seems like he's involved in everything. So maybe he is just telling the stories and involving himself. Yeah. Yeah. Now the the skull looks like a rubber mask thing for Halloween. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though clearly sometimes he has a um, mouth in it, right? Like it's not yeah. a mask, but like later on it will just be a mask, and now and it starts again, to look like a mask. His hand is very deformed. I don't know. What yeah, his that hands is. are yeah. horrifying. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. Yeah, like his arm is, like his head is on correctly, but his arm is on backwards now. <laughs> they didn't really understand human anatomy. No, no. In the midst of the fray, the Red Skull departs through a secret exit. So they think they're winning, do they? I'll be back with more murder. That finishes these babies. All except Mr. Red Skull, who seems to have left. So I see. Well... It's too late to chase him now. Let's get back to camp. <laughs> why really? is it we too late to chase means. him now? I guess. Why? why? Why is Bucky the baby calling them babies? I mean, I really. Know. He's really talking out of his crotch. Yeah, well, he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the bubble once again, yeah. Yeah. We just skip the rest uh -huh. of the night. Well, and guess so. The next day... Captain America once more becomes Private Steve Rogers of the United States Army. Smoking his corn cob pipe. Smoking, yeah. And uh, listening to Bucky play the harmonica. Oh, yeah. Yep. Good times. Good yep. times. We got our ties tucked into our shirts like good soldiers do. This is Japanese ordering again. Who's Sarge? Oh, I'm Sarge. Oh. Private Rogers, fall in. Coming, Sarge. Is Bucky coming with him too? I mean, I put just like so. As always. We're joined at the hip. <laughs> yeah. What's all this about, chum? Can't say yet. Something about airplane testing. Ooh. The latest chum? technology. <laughs> chum. Chum. Squall Hall. Men. I want you to meet Mr. Maxon of the Maxon Aircraft Corporation. He came in person to watch his new plane take an army test. Uh, uh, <laughs> glad to meet you, boys. He's the Red Skull, isn't he? Mary. What you mean? <laughs> He's Mary. the Red Skull. This looks like a man that would wear a turban <laughs> onesie, right? <laughs> this is absolutely a man who wears Mary. a turban colored onesie. Mary. Mary, seriously, only Captain America can solve the riddle. No, he's, he's only the Captain Red Skull. America can solve the riddle. Who's this guy? Do you think? Some, <laughs> it's uh, additional henchman, I think. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Lovely. Good lord, she's on fire. Is she actually on fire? <laughs> it looks like smoke. Yeah. Oh fuck! Go. It is actually on yeah. fire. Yeah. <laughs> Asking, you shall receive. Like a flaming comet. The giant bomber streaks earthward. Hate to be driving that, or flying it, whatever. Yeah. And once again, sabotage has struck at the heart of America. Was there actually, like, lots of sabotage going on? Not really, as far as... In the comics, yes. In the comics, yes. Yeah. Because uh, I, I bet that was Sando the thing that like the media was, was they were sabotaging all over the place. German intelligence yeah. was actually really incompetent. Like one of their main intelligence agencies was run by someone who hated the Nazis and was trying to make sure they lost. So they were sabotaging. <laughs> so, I didn't know uh, that. And then like yeah, that was like I think it was the Abwehr. Although I I forget because it's a bunch of German words. But then oh, yeah. it got um. 
transferred over to a bunch of, to like the SS and they were pro-Nazis, but they didn't know what they were doing. It was just like Heinrich Himmler wanted more bureaucratic control. So he just got it, but it, they didn't yeah. really know what to do with it. So they were just kind of incompetent throughout most of the war. Well, you know, if I was the Germans in World War II, I would just like not be doing anything to agitate America at all. Yeah, you would think. Yeah, you surely just to God, not not poke the bear. Yeah, although to be fair, I would say one of the stupidest things they did in World War Two was when Pearl Harbor happened, and yeah. uh, Germany was like, "Oh yeah, we totally support Japan, and we also declare war on America." It's like, why? It's, it also part of their racist beliefs in that they just kind of presumed that America already was at war with. I mean, because of lend lease and stuff, they just assumed American industrial capacity was at its maximum. Like. Whatever is being sent to Britain and the Soviet Union at this point is as much as they could send. So we may as well just declare war on them because then they're not neutral shipping, right? Of course. Oh, dear me. On such a lovely plane, too. Plane, my eye. What about the men who died in it? See, he's the Red Skull. That's how we know. He didn't care about the men who died. Yeah, Bucky can't believe it. He is. I'm. Bucky's aghast. just mouth agape. And you know what? It's not the first time Bucky's had that expression on his face. The general is also mad the game. <laughs> it's, it's not the first time the general yeah. said that look Steve's on his face. Steve's just mad. <laughs> Steve's, uh, he's a giver and a mm -hmm. producer. <laughs> he's a, uh, he's a generous lover. That's enough! Private Rogers, fall back in line! Mm, yes, sir. <laughs> Don't point out that Mr. Maxon's evil. Later, back in comp. If you think it's sabotage, what are we going to do about it? We're not doing anything about it, but Captain America will. That's the same thing, boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that's us. maybe I'm implying that yeah. you won't be coming with me again, I but I think we just I know mean, that's not the case. You know I will, Steve, because I'll just go by myself and I'll get there before you and then you have to save me and then I help you out. Bucky, are you balding? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's eating all your dreams. Whoa. <laughs> Make him lose my hair. Jesus. <laughs> Mary's the most vulgar one. <laughs> yeah, Mary <laughs> is the edgy one of the trio. <laughs> you can cut that out. <laughs> Maybe he won't. Maybe he won't. Uh, I don't know. Also, I want you to know that instinctively, as soon as I saw later back at camp, I wanted to say it. I, my instincts I to be a narrator kicked in so hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my, my instinct was I, to leave you too. Yeah, it was to I listen to Zach yeah. say later to, back at camp. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. back like, at the ranch. Meanwhile. <laughs> yeah. Good night, Mr. Maxon. You can rest assured that we'll investigate this accident. Dear, dear. It was nearly too much. I have a weak heart, you know. See, he can't be the Red Skull. He's, he's got a weak Skull. heart. Yeah, he's, he's weak Skull. hearted. No, he's, a re he's lying. He's just <laughs> like, I mean, we don't know that he... We haven't seen an electrocardiogram. He we don't know there's a weak said heart. it, Mary. I, a man lying. can't say something if he's it lying. isn't true. And don't lie. He's lying. <laughs> and he's the Red Skull. Good night, General. And rest well. We wouldn't want anything to happen to America's greatest military genius. Would we? Just because he's okay. smiling evilly means nothing. The general nothing. is getting a card from the Red Skull because the general is the next murder victim. Mary, stop smiling. Hello, Mildred. Sorry I'm late. Look at his black eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Stern <laughs> daggers at you. Hello, yeah. Mildred. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> I'm late. <laughs> no need to be. I have a surprise. A package came for you today. Jesus Christ, Zach. So, do you think that she's an old lady that's been rejuvenated? <laughs> no, I think I she's... Think... I think she's I think... J. Edgar, whatever his name. J. Arthur, oh, whatever. J. Um, so, yeah. Yes. Where so I people... knew Zach was going to okay. do his breathy woman voice, but I didn't know he was going to activate <laughs> polymerization and fuse it with his, like, German scientist voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I feel well, like it's, it's Mildred. Mr. I feel like it's Mr. Maxon, like, in drag here. <laughs> Doing Zach's, a fake voice. Zach's a breathy woman voice. All right. But I got me a package, so let me open it. Yeah, you body. always have that breathy woman <laughs> voice when you do a woman. Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's one of the best parts of this show. It's, it's, it's his it's misogyny. It's my favorite I only get show. to do because it very David, briefly, because I only get, like, three yeah, lines. Yeah, only three lines. Yeah. And, and, you, and remember that women are a blank void to Zach, <laughs> so they all have the same voice. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. 
Honestly, I think Mildred is probably the most fleshed out female character we get in like in this show, not just in this comic. <laughs> well, well. Wonder who's been playing Santa Claus. It yeah, blows up. Roaring fire. My God. Did they yeah, put well, gasoline on it? Back in, the, back in the 40s, you had to get warmed up. We didn't have central heating back then. The package is opened and a terrifying red skull rolls out upon the table. Also, what's that paint in the background? It looks That's like the red terror. skull. I don't know. It, <laughs> it looks like the red skull. Oh my god. I think it's Mildred. What? The, the... <laughs> fuck? What the <laughs> <laughs> well, this is your last night on Earth, General Manor. Already death approaches you. The red skull. I love that in uh, General Manor's head, that's the voice of the Red Skull. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So once again, the Red Skull is just like declaring, yep. I am the murderer. It yep. is me, the Red Skull. You're not going to be able to figure yep. this one out. It's Doc, it's <laughs> Mr. Maxon. It's Mr. Maxon. Well, there's a letter from someone claiming to be the murderer called the Red Skull, who, <laughs> and you know the body's been throttled one, to death. I will go if one only there step was a clue. Farther. I will go one step farther than pointing out that the Red Skull murders people. It's Mr. Maxon murdering people. No, you don't know that. Oh. Same here. Fucking numbskull. Well, you idiot. You know, you I am stupid a general. Tit. And so, <laughs> I, am, I am a general. So, <laughs> a flimsy joke, I must say. General Manor. <laughs> Dumb shit, motherfucker. He's gonna die. He deserves to. Yeah. He does. But poor Mildred. What will she do? <laughs> 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 you know what? If I turned around, there was a guy in a red skull and a turd colored onesie with a swastika. I, I, I would be a little surprised as well. <laughs> the hands. He's only got like he's two got three fingers. fingers. He's, he's got, got like not enough fingers, fingers yeah, at this point. Have, yes. There's too many, there's too few fingers. And giant He's just thumbs. rubbing his hands like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You! Me! Oh, you! <laughs> Mildred, did you put on the helmet again? <laughs> <laughs> A gun is useless. Ugh! Also, like, he just got there first. Like, once again, the gun wouldn't have been useless. If he had shot him, the yeah. Red Skull is just a man, but he yeah. just strangles him first. I don't know. That They're misrepresenting what the Red Skull is. You know that turd isn't bulletproof? Well, the Red Skull is misrepresenting what he is. That's true. Robes flowing in the wind. Whoa, he is missing some details, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no swastika. He has been, like, extremely, like, smooth in town. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh yeah, also there's no swastika. Yeah. Peer into my eyes, General. Look at death. No! No! Ah! Oh, did we miss the pull of Also, the, the viewer thing just skipped, yeah, the viewer skips the panel where he whips the gun yeah, out. Yeah, we, we missed mm -hmm. the thing where he, because there's a circle one where he, where he whips the gun out. Oh, it's oh, in the no, view that goes down? Yeah. Well, we didn't see that. Okay. Because I'm like, how did he get the gun? But he's pulling it out there. Yeah. It just, it didn't show oh, up on the screen. Like that was skipping a step as well, yeah. 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 And there's just no border between this panel and the one above it. Yeah. No, yeah. Okay. I'm actually, when you're reading comics as like a page, I like layout changes like yeah. this. It makes yeah, the panels yeah. a little different, but it's a lot more interesting than just everything being delineated. Yeah, no, I agree. Oh, yeah, I like it. <laughs> Another has met the skull. And lost. Is he like <laughs> writing a scar sheet? Yeah, yeah he's just he, taking names. <laughs> he's talking to his crotch again. He is. is. He oh, is literally. Oh my he's god. got a list. Oh, oh my Bucky god. is after Captain America. Bucky is That's on the list. That's why we couldn't we couldn't kill him first. Then the list of the five people responsible for the government in mm -hmm. America is Major Croy, number one. Mm -hmm. General yep. Manor, number two. Captain America number three, Bucky <laughs> number four, number yeah. five, mm, Tenrusu. 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 What about the people in the airplane? So Bucky is on his fucking list. Yeah, Bucky's on the list. Of course, Bucky, of course Bucky's on the list. Bucky is the fourth most important person Oh, in Mildred. Oh, fuck you. Fucking you Mildred. Did not, you did not expect Mildred. <laughs> I told you Mildred oh, was the best God. character. 
Oh my God. You did. I There's a reason know, I took Mildred. I want to know how David is going to say <laughs> exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Oh, don't talk people too much. All right. All right. I'll get performance anxiety. Mrs. Manor hears the shot and gun in hand rushes into the living room. Hands up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. I was, I was, it's got to be a whoa. Oh, wait, no, I got it. Actually, I got a bit wrong. Okay, wait, I'll give you the leading. All right. Hands up. Ah! There we go. All right. Very nice. nice. So you get a couple of takes there. <laughs> decide which one is best. What have you done to my husband? Oh! My eye is, like, gone <laughs> completely. It's nuts. the rock. Look, my, it's my the rock. God. He's doing the people's smell, eyebrow. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Can you smell what Mildred is cooking? <laughs> well, your damn roll. That eyebrow is creeping up into her hairline. Yeah, someone's Yikes. using the Photoshop like Dragon Melt tool or something. <laughs> Yikes! Okay, Charles, Charles, speak to me. Why would Mildred you? Mildred is buff. <laughs> My God, the woman she has is. tree trunks for arms. <laughs> Jesus what are you Christ. talking about? I'm <laughs> delicate and feminine. She could break Charles in half. <laughs> Why does she come up with a gun and then just drop it uh, and roll it on? Because she's a woman. Because she's, oh yeah, she's an illogical woman, of yeah. course. Is yeah. she? She's built like a fucking linebacker. I, yes. Look at, she's bigger than the Red yes. Skull. Yes. <laughs> yes. She is, yeah. <laughs> she just turns around and throttles the Red Skull. Oh, <laughs> you killed my God. husband. <laughs> Charles is not speaking to anybody. <laughs> oh my god, she is. Oh my god. You, you red devil. You'll pay for this. Oh, you're kind of scary, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna run away now. He looks like a little babby now. The head is, like, way yeah. too big on him. Yeah. yeah. You're wrong. It's America that will pay, because I'll be master over all. Don't look at me that way. No. Oh. Damn. Well, you were right, kind of. I was right. I was waiting for her to slap him. But this is in the 40s. Slugs. Oh, so it's okay to hit women. <laughs> yeah. Slug. Look at you. Ha! My death is only for important people like Bucky. Yes, <laughs> yeah. like Bucky. Footsteps. Fuck Jesus! Did he launch out of a cannon? Yeah, he's he's spearing him. <laughs> like an anger <laughs> wouldn't be the first person yeah. Captain America speared. Look at the way he's spearing him too. Like one hand is clearly like coming under the crotch. Oh yeah. Like yeah. he's scooped him up. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing a pro wrestling move. Yeah. Like an angry tornado, Captain America bursts into the room. I thought I heard a shot. Ooh. <laughs> oh, grab me by the gooch. Oh, oh my goodness. Let me sniff no out. sound oh, effect. Punch the air. Uh. I'm guessing I dodged it. Oh, no, no, I didn't dodge. You no, you didn't. I did no, not you went dodge. face first into the picture of yourself. Yeah, that was a picture of him, yeah. What? You got up after that punch? Blundering fool. I'll have your life for that. There, it take that. Still no sound effects. No. Oh, you think the sheriff killed Captain America? What? How are we crossing him off the list? What? Well, we I look guess... done. <laughs> I guess no. that's it now. No, the sheriff did not kill Captain America. He's got super soldier serum, and you gotta look into his eyes and do the whole death death thing. I killed him with a chair. Oh, oh man. Reading this panel by panel oh. makes some things a lot funnier. <laughs> yeah. Man. What the fuck? Really? Wait, can we get the there, full, can we get really? the full page view in case we missed something? He does kind of yeah. check that he's out cold, but no, the arrows are going down like this. Yeah. So that yeah, does no. come first. Yeah, he, he doesn't even whoever, check. He doesn't even whoever check. Whoever designed uh, this website and had to pick what are the, these panels are in must have struggled like we are yeah, right now. It's oh. like the other one makes more sense to come first. You wouldn't declare him dead without checking that he's out cold, but. No, I guess he did. All okay. right. I have to. The arrows. I have I to obey the arrows. I have to. All right. 
So stupid. He's out cold. Now to get down to business. His arm why like why wouldn't you kill him? Position. So you kill the generals. Yeah. You don't yeah. knock them out. So but I Captain guess the America... list was murder, murder, knock out cold. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So stupid. It's one of the things that I... It's like one step forward, one step back. Golden Age comics allow the villains to kind of succeed in that they kill some people, but they still fail in that they have no reason. He just failed. And, mm -hmm. like, the Red Skull just won't kill him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this and is also, just a normal just guy. Acknowledge... Steve has super soldiers here. Yeah. 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 A normal fella knocked out Captain America. Well, and by also, Captain America chair. doesn't have superpowers either. He is at the peak of human capabilities, but he doesn't actually surpass still, them. He's going to make it Mr. Maxim. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, he still shouldn't be knocked out by I a mean, chair. I this little puny guy that Mildred almost took out. Like, I feel like... <laughs> Captain America should yeah. be faster, stronger, better. They have a real big problem where, like, America. superheroes look like such huge weenies where, like, they're, oh, I hit you with a chair, you're knocked out. Now I'll mm -hmm. put you in chains, lock you in a vault, and he's like, oh, well, I'll just break the chains and yeah. push open the vault. Oh, no, he's escaped. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't understand how a chair... Pick would... one. Yeah. It, are you pathetically weak or are you, you know, able to break the unbreakable but, but, bonds? But Bucky has to come save but us. But anyway, him. Bucky's here. Weakling. Wake up and look into my eyes. Look at dirt. We have to do it this way. Uh, I can't just uh, shoot him. I couldn't just turn him over on just the ground. Just shoot him. Look into my eyes, eh? What kind of game is this? But another I'm figure. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> Steve always tells me to look. I don't want him looking into his eyes. I want to look into his eyes. <laughs> he does eyes. look mildly upset. Yeah. <laughs> he does what look kind jealous. What kind of a game yeah. is this? I don't what the like fuck? this. Why am I not playing? my boyfriend. But another figure appears on the scene. Fucking Bucky. Excuse me, I didn't see you. What? This makes way more sense if Bucky's just lying. Right? So, like, Captain America just lost for no reason, but then mm -hmm. I saved him. <laughs> that, that only yeah, makes sense yeah. if, like, if, Bucky if is telling, telling the story. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, Bucky to is telling the story. Because even though he left yeah. me behind, I went and found him anyway. You little twerp. I'll mangle you. Cap! Cap! Get up! Quick! Oh, my head. Ow. Slowly, Captain America regains consciousness. Wow. I must have been hit by a gunboat. No, just a oh, chair. Oh, it's just a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to pass me by. Eh? Ooh. Look at his leg. Mm-hmm. Look at Ow. look yeah. at he's, the he's doing something. That's freakish. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like that famous uh, that bronze statue. <laughs> his leg has <laughs> come like off of his body. <laughs> it's like they forgot that space continues even when yeah. you can't see a yeah. body. Yeah, no, his yeah. leg is disconnected from yeah. his body and has been left. And his other leg is really short. Yep. Well, <laughs> I I'm assuming it's bent, but yeah, no, that that one leg is just frightening. <laughs> Also, he seems to be punching, but I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Oh, oh shit! My head exploded. Oh no! Nothing left but the old sleep punch. What? What? M my head. The head exploded. Not your head. Well, yes, but <laughs> the a head. head a yeah. head exploded. Can you beat that? The skull was only a false face. Sure thing. And look who's behind it, Mr. Maxim. They're surprised. I love that they're also surprised that it was a mask because they thought that a human being with like a red skull head was more likely than a guy just wore a red skull mask. Have you seen the <laughs> on, on the I, list? I, I, we were surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's Mr. Maxon of Maxon Aircraft Inc. Because we it might have been a different Mr. Maxon. This doesn't look good for you, Mr. Maxim. Here in your turd-colored jumper with a swastika on. Yeah. A swastika. Mm -hmm. Hmm. A hypodermic. That doesn't make sense. So he was... So yeah, it awesome. does... He's right, it doesn't make sense. Because if he was killing people with a hypodermic needle, you would, would see an evidence. injection mark. Yeah. yeah. But well, there's... maybe it was between their toes. Yeah. I you don't think You have to look for was. those <laughs> in the autopsy. You gotta look for the injection site between the toes. It makes plenty of sense, Bucky. This is Mr. Red Skull's look of death. I don't get it. 
I understand, Bucky. <laughs> you are confused because the look of death is something that's only come up in scenes with the Red Skull and his victim, mm -hmm. who died. We yeah. shouldn't but know was, about it. Yeah, well, he was, no, because it was like, oh, look at, look at me, look at me. He, he tried, tried it on Captain, Captain America, America. Well, Captain America was unconscious at the time. So yeah, that's, no. that's true. Anyway, so yeah, it's a hypodermic right. needle. No. Um, so he also, it looked like he was just throttling them. Like, yeah. it, this is multiple layers of stupid yeah. on oh. top of one another. But we did get a turd colored one. But anyway, Captain America's pretty uh. <laughs> chuffed his chips about this. Just a killer at heart. A skull, uh, Maxon, that wrecked plane was your fault too. It'll take more than you to lick this country. My unitooth will protect yeah. our nation. <laughs> <laughs> your plan was to scare your victims out of their wits and then inject this poison into them, making believe that you killed them with your eyes. So what? Yeah, that would be, yep, mm-hmm. What? Because there was no audience other than him. Yeah, other yeah. than the murder victims. Yeah. Like, and he was planning on killing Captain America, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... It's just, this it's is just really for fun just, for him, yeah, for his own sake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and so... For his so own what, like, all so of what? these Nazi plots have just been like that, too. Yeah. It's like, Sando could have just planted bombs. Mm-hmm. But he predicted the, the well, bombs. Because the Nazis got to show up. <laughs> They've got to show be up. A whole thing. Like, just don't wear this jumper. <laughs> just don't wear that, and you'll be way easier to blend in. Yeah. The killer attempts to get his death weapon. I'm not finished. Just watch. No, you don't. Sorry, you can't have that. It states evidence. Giant Captain America's feet are just <laughs> watching. The fool! He rolled over on the hypo! Oh. But you saw it all. Why didn't you stop him from killing himself? I'm not talking, Bucky. What the fuck? Yeah, no, you were right when you said he's just watching. Yeah, Captain America just watched him commit suicide. Yeah, or he's watched a Bucky super kill him. Super revenge yeah. for you on the plane, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's like, Captain America's kind of hardcore. Wow. <laughs> he, uh... Okay. That's kind of scary. Yeah. This isn't like yeah. where Thanos tried to rob a bank and then is... the <laughs> heroes had him arrested. Yeah, this no. Is, this no is... one got arrested here. This is not Chris Evans' Captain America. That's all no, yeah, it's a little bit morally gray area here. Yeah, yeah. In addition to the pedophilia, this yeah. also makes it seem like he's in a morally gray area. Mm. Hello, Federal Bureau of Investigation? This is Captain America! I'm phoning you from General Manor's home. Yes, he's dead. Yes, so is his killer, the Red Skull. He committed suicide. Our work is done. Come on, Bucky. <laughs> Bucky's face. Jesus. He's so glad to know that Captain America is willing to watch people kill themselves. Shouldn't, yeah. Shouldn't, shouldn't we stay? Useful information. Shouldn't we stay and give evidence? Well, shouldn't we stay? Shouldn't we stay? I have seen two we, more dead bodies today. Time we, to go <laughs> home and snuggle with Captain America in our bed. We, shouldn't, oh God. Shouldn't, shouldn't we get? We were witnesses. Shouldn't we give evidence? No. Oh. Later, the G-Men inspects the body of George Maxon, alias the Red Skull. It's Maxon, all right. But why should the head of a Airplane Corporation resort to this spy stuff. What's that piece of paper sticking out of his side pocket? Hmm. I think this letter will explain the reason for Maxon's terroristic activities. They really were just you, expecting a letter. Man, you, if you, you, criminals just don't leave letters. You think so, Jim? You think it'll explain his <laughs> terroristic activities? Uh, I hope you just explain your crimes to us, the police. We're intensely stupid. When America is within the fold of the Greater Reich, the post of Minister of All-American Industry shall be the reward for your excellent spy work. The Führer. <laughs> that's, how, that's how Hitler always signed his letters. The, the Führer. Yeah. Or the Führer. 
as Steve Rogers calls Feel him. Fewer were. Because that's like, it looks like a signature, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like someone yeah. typed yeah. this out yeah. in English for him. They brought it yeah. to Adolf Hitler and then and he English. signed it, but he signed it in English as the, the Fuhrer. Fuhrer. <laughs> oh, Fuhrer. <laughs> and so ends the bloody career of George Maxon, alias the Red Skull. So taking out four people, Major Crow. Or whatever, Five people, uh, theoretically. Theoretically. He wanted to. But Major, only made it Major Croy, General Manor, Captain America, and Bucky, you take out and a Thor's, fifth guy, and a fifth guy, and a fifth unknown guy. But you take out those five people. Yeah, yeah. America's down. Bam! America yeah. is part and of the greater right. Minister of all industry. All industry. <laughs> okay. Back in camp, Private Steve Rogers and Bucky relax in their tent. Yeah, he's having a smoke afterwards. Yeah, Bucky's reading Marvel comics. But the work of Captain America is never done as they plunge into new exploits against America's enemies. Watch for the next issue. Right. So this is our last Every Captain America comic. comic. Hmm. But not the end of Captain America Comics issue one. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Hey, so that's the end of this part. Uh, this episode was so long that I decided to split it up into three different segments. So this was number two, and part three will be coming up sometime in the near future. Uh, in the meantime, please uh, check out my writing and my Instagram, and all the links are down in the description. All right, so we will uh, see you guys next time. Kiss, kiss.